Did I just hear your electronic cigarette being puffed? Yeah. Yeah, I heard that, big boy. Made a weird robot noise. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> do you uh you never do the regular vapes. You just do the sin and vapes, right? Yeah, of course. I don't I don't I'm not one for I don't even do the I just found out those um zins were very popular. I didn't even I wasn't familiar that everybody was on nicotine. Yeah, it, we uh here wait, let me we are live with Drag the Lake. Hey guys, Sorry. we're live with Drag the Lake here <laughs> on uh the Drag the Lake YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're or you're stopping by. And if you don't hit subscribe, I'm gonna find out where you are because we get the analytics and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do stuff to you. That's not nice, but it, it'll be like tickling. It'll be kind of nice. I actually kind of like to listen to our podcast. Goochie, goochie, goo. That's one of my favorite things I do when I'm in jujitsu is I tickle people. Uh, anytime that they're in a position that I'm holding there, holding them there, and they try to get out multiple times, I go tiki, tiki, tiki. <laughs> either in their ribs or the bottom of their feet. They don't normally like it. And yeah, that sounds- is in the rule book. I, I used to say nothing in the rule book. Actually, there is. It's called a good touch. It's not allowed in jujitsu. <laughs> contrary to uh, contrary to uh, what uh, Bloodhound. the Bloodhound Gang thinks, yeah. which is a bad touch. Yeah, it was you and me, baby. Better not be tickling each other because the ref will see it. Hell yeah. Sorry, I'm pulling up topics on uh, Twitter, and for some reason, King of the Jews is trending. That rule. <laughs> no, actually, understood? actually, I don't know if this is a uh, this is a good topic or not, but um, it's kind of music related. I actually had a, I had a, I had a tweet pop off a little bit because I feel like I made a pretty good point, but uh, here is the fucking, here's the fucking tweet. So apparently... Because you know how Lady Gaga is in uh, Joker 2? Yeah. Which, I gotta say. Is that about... actually real, by the way? Have you seen the one of her kind of scantily clad? Wait, that... sorry. My cat's locked into the room. I gotta prop it open. Can you uh, show us your tits real quick? Yeah, if you can. Uh, I, I don't mind. <laughs> no, I uh, I was wondering. The There's a scantily clad picture. Kind of, It looks scantily clad. But it's like, I don't know if it's like one of these promo shots or something like that. But it's a shot of uh, what's her broad, uh, uh, Lady Gaga. Gaga, and she it's like it's her kind of like hot looking. She's like in a one piece bathing suit or some shit. Like, is there well, is I'm that glad, real or is that photoshopped? I'm glad you said that because I immediately wanted to talk about her looks. Um, okay. <laughs> but no, I always get Lady Gaga is one of those chicks. I used to feel this way about Anne Hathaway, and then she really flipped on me, and now I just get bricked up for her. I, okay. I I like to look at Anne Hathaway. Wait, um, you, there was a point you didn't like looking at her? Not like when she was young. I think now that, you know, a lot of a lot of dudes benefit from the fact that like you get older and you just look like do like, there's a lot of dudes that like grow into their age. And women don't always have that same luxury. What's up? Hey fellas, miss you guys so much. Hey, thank you for being here. Destroy a boy 47. Um <laughs> Thanks for making us say that again. <laughs> Destroy a boy. <laughs> I'll destroy a boy. Um, but uh, we, oh yeah, no. But I think women don't have the same luxury of like growing into their age. Women, you, which I also think is, I don't know. Definitely with like the fashion industry and all that, women have really been brainwashed by a bunch of other catty bitches and gay men all into pocket. what into what thinking into 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 tricking them into thinking what actually gets our our dicks hard as dudes. And it's like, yeah. dude, ju- here's the thing. I try to say this as much as possible. Women try to like they they try to find that like anti aging shit and this and that, and it's just like, dude, it's not gonna work. You're always gonna look like, with the exception, with the ex- like, there's obviously certain exceptions, you know what I mean, and and shit like that. But like, you're generally gonna always like look your age in context of your race, because you know yeah. how like you know I think a lot of times like black women top out at like 50 at the oldest and then they're just like if they keep their shit together they're just 50 for the rest of their life and then a lot of spanish people they'll just they'll just turn into like a wrinkly 44 (laughs) and shit like that you know but like you know we're two we're two men that um have have eternally contracted our love to white women yeah and i so i think in the context of white women a lot of times and it's like a big thing for white women is like you're gonna look your age within two years or so for the whole time yeah so just focus on being your best version of that that like they and it's like Mm -hmm. ignore the fucking magazines because they're all just run by other catty bitches and gay men they don't tell you 
what's going to make you because you know if it's one thing if you want to go out and you want to be fashionable and you want fuck you want to impress gay dudes that's one thing but if but if you're trying to go out there and just be like because you know we're all trying to impress someone i'm just saying if the name of your game is you're trying to fucking you're trying to get people bricked up you're not being told the right info so just because dude I'll fu- dude, a hot 46 year old, a hot fucking 46 year old. I don't get mo- fucking mad about that. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, the, but the point I was trying to make is like a lot of women don't have the benefit of like growing into their age. But I will say the older Anne Hathaway's gotten, the more I'm fucking into her. Yeah, I, I would say that I think I actually do kind of prefer a more mature lady. Like as far as like most of the younger uh, broads that like Zendaya, I feel like is going to age nicely. That sounded really creepy. <laughs> that, 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 I I actually called the cops yeah, after yeah. you said that. That was I, crazy. I, called down. I actually, can I be the witness and the suspect? <laughs> can I just tell you? Yeah, I did everything. Uh, no, I, I I'm just that, gonna find you. I'm gonna find you at a shopping mall. It's just gonna be me holding your holding my phone, being like, "This man is here to meet well, with Zendaya." I, I argued the other way, if I may, because uh, Selena Gomez is another good example of Selena Gomez aged. Uh, uh, aged up very nicely. There's a glow up where I've never, I've never thought like, oh man, oh that that chick that's soup that looks like a 12 year old is super hot. Now that she's a little, <laughs> she's got a little chunk on her and she's got some meat in her tits. I'm like, holy smokes, <laughs> she got meaty titties, dude. Yeah. Can I say this about Selena Gomez too? Huh. Every so often, she's got some, it, she's got some illness or something that makes her like bloated. Oh, the liver. Yeah, the liver, the liver thing, right? Oh, well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I just know. I just know every like four to five to six months, a picture of her um, being a little bloated comes out and people will be like, oh, Selena Gomez really went downhill. And this is like, this is why I think everyone's fucking gay. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I see those pictures when you go, this is, this is Selena Gomez looking like a pile of trash. And I go, I'd really like to stick my dick in that pile of trash. I would love to be a pig because I'd ruck my nose right in there. I thought also, Steph left. I thought Steph left. <laughs> she, just, she just walked by. Here, and, is that you? Well, because I propped the door. I propped the door open, tried to let the cat out, and I thought she was gone. <laughs> and now we're divorced. I said that, and I looked over. It was just my wife glaring at me. So, it's for the pod. Selena <laughs> Gomez is disgusting. <laughs> Never her over you. No, I, I. So another another point, Yana. Uh, uh, Rihanna <laughs> is 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 ten million times better than she was when she for Umbrella versus now Rihanna, fat tits Rihanna, where she's got she's got some mommy weight on her. She's got bigger hips, dude. Post jizzed in Rihanna. Like, Two things that I that this boy loves right over here is big eyes and big hips. And <laughs> you know what happens when women get a little bit older? They're, I think their hips uh, get a little bit wider, especially if they get a uh, than hips. You know why well I as, think you like the big eyes? Huh? Bigger eyes, they can see more. It makes your penis look bigger. Ah, yeah, everything looks bigger. <laughs> they're like, they're like, I'm holding a Coke can, and they're just like, wow, is it like that? I'm like, sure, yeah. <laughs> 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 I didn't say how. Uh, uh, but oh yo destroy boy 47 said um anna joy and i i think he means do you mean anya that anya joy taylor chick probably because i like her a lot she she'll do some weird thing with her makeup where her cheeks look sunken in and a lot of people think she's like anorexic but i literally just think it's like a makeup thing oh wait wrong picture yeah she'll do oh yeah yeah, that's a lot of chicks do this thing where they put a bunch of makeup here and it makes their cheeks look sucked in. And yeah, it's like, I don't think that's what, like here, she doesn't have it here. She looks normal here. Yeah. Yeah. She, um, there's a big billboard on the way into the city with her on it that I always like to drive through and then masturbate onto the pillow. <laughs> <Beat off on. laughs> I just blast into the, bill. oh, but, um, so I, so- I think there's, I think there's a, a matter of like you say, yes, but I actually personally, I know what you're saying. Uh, on the on the whole (laughs) (laughs) they uh the broads they can't age without like doing something to themselves where i say and you say both like have the baby keep a little bit of the weight i like the chub get the meat in your tits have it sag a little i don't mind like i want to see that shit age age, you don't have to age even gracefully uh i got a compliment one of the weirdest (laughs) weirdest and best compliments i've ever gotten in my life i was actually uh, it was during the pandemic we uh Dom, most of Dobbs' family, uh, and uh, and myself, and like 
we we all met up in Michigan because one of one of the family members had a house there that was kind of used as a general meeting point. And we all went there for like a week to stay on the lake and do all this stuff, hang out. It was a lot of fun. And at one point, because I this this was this was peak Pat. This was when I was so Big fat monster. No, no, no. I'm saying like the the all, like when I was coming down from that was like the last time they saw me was Big Fat Monster Pat. And since then, I had gotten down to like this is when I think I was at 240. I was at my lowest, I think. And I was also doing a fuck. Do you know, I'm I'm 290. Oh, uh, okay. So <clears throat> I, I I had gotten down to 240, and I was like fit, and I had just cut my mustache too for the first time. So I had a I had a Selleck shit going on. Oh, okay. And, and one of Dom's sisters, one of Dom's uh, stepsisters. Uh, was like, damn, Pat, you aged like a fine wine. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> well, it was like one of the greatest because you know why that was a great compliment? Because no one in my life besides my wife had ever complimented me on my looks before. <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying is, is that's why I think they strive to stay the exact same for as long as they can and stay young is because that's when they get the most compliment. Andy. What I'm saying and what I'm putting out to you and to the world out there and all the drag the lake world, start catcalling older women too. Cat call all women. And I'm not Dude, just saying there's like, literally mothers because they're, you know, they don't they don't need it for their hips. You know what I'm saying? But like a 30 some odd, let's say 37 and up year old woman, start like fucking say nice tits, ma. <laughs> yeah, and and, and, <laughs> and fucking um tell you like <clears throat> No, you know and I mean? and um, because yeah, they do. Dude. Well, I was there's a there was that one TikTok going viral where the dude, the kid, it was like a kid in his early twenties, and they're like, it's, you know, it's just him working out, and they're like, why do you work out? And then it cuts to him, he's like an employee at like a country club, and there's just this table of all these like women oh, in their seventies, yeah. and you just see them all go like. Oh, hey, Tyler. And you're like, dude, there's nothing better in this world than a fucking, uh, fucking group of older ladies just old ogling you. Horny old broads are some of the best broads in the world. It's like oh. the best. It's like the best compliment ever. You just get a table of horny bitches, horny old bitches. Because, because, <laughs> because all the magic is gone from them in their, in their life. And there, it's it's at that point where like oh either God, like, Steph came in with a gun. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, dude. Selena Gomez is ugly. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> yeah, no, we were talking about that. We yeah. were saying she gets all bloated. Her, I want to give her pretty. an organ transplant. Tell her I want to give her another organ transplant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pat said, Pat said I should tell you that I want to give her an organ transplant. <laughs> She said, wow, Pat. I would never say that. Pat made me say that. I did say it. She doesn't believe you. <laughs> That's the funniest part. She doesn't believe that I actually told you to say that. Because I'm a nice boy. But yeah. I would never say something like that. I would but never. Oh, she, but. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. What happened? Okay. She killed the cats. No. <laughs> she, she would unironically kill me before any of the cats. <laughs> she, she grabbed a. She grabbed a suitcase she already had packed for some reason. I don't. That's probably nothing. Anyway, no, but but um oh the reason I we went off on this tangent is because um Lady Gaga is always the <laughs> Lady Gaga is to me always the one because like my I feel like Lady Gaga is the one you only oh, hear yeah. you only hear girls go like she's so pretty you yeah because like, there's a lot of there's a lot of women out there that like they get they get they're like there's women that are like four women. Where yeah. they're not they're not ugly, but like chicks love them. Yeah. And then there's no and it's not even saying like Lady Gaga's ugly, but there's just like no dude that's going my, like, Oh yeah, Lady Gaga's like my top chick. My wife has like two types of like people that she finds attractive, and it's either women that are really ugly or men that look like women. <laughs> like, for a long time she was like, uh the the vampire boy um from Twilight, like that was her dude. Hey, mm. What's his name? Fuck! Why can't I remember? His Edward fucking... or Robert Pattinson? Robert Pattinson. Yeah, that boy. He was like, she was like, oh, I, she liked boys. She liked little boys or like ugly broads. That's always been a thing, chicks. Um, that's why I always the uh, the sort of either like slightly gay or androgynistic dude uh, yeah. pop star has always been a staple for like the the young girl and girl community in general that's why you saw that's why you saw the influx of um all the all the like k-pop stars and yeah. they would all look like this weird androgynous slightly gay vibe to them 
Yeah, she like the, like no matter what, like Lady Gaga has never been like she's never been an uggo or anything like that. But like to say she's beautiful, it's the same way like they go like they go with like the model that has like big eye like big wide apart eyes and like the gap in her teeth, and they're like she's gorgeous, and you're like <laughs> what the goofy looking one. Like she <laughs> literally movie? looks like Goofy from fucking Disney World. Like she looks yeah, no. like a human Goofy. And and um, so I brought I brought this up because there's um, oh yeah, I was talking about Lady Gaga and fucking Joker two, right? And I I brought this, uh, you know, we went down on a fifty minute analyzation of women's appearance because why not? But um, no, I also wanted to bring up Lady Gaga. Wait for the chat to fill up. <laughs> I, yeah, right. But I also like brought up Lady Gaga because I don't even I like fuck with Lady Gaga. Just like keep- I. Like, I'll be straight up. A lot of people were because she's enough of a weirdo that I go, she's going to figure out how to be a really good actress. And when I saw that Lady Gaga was going to be in the new Joker movie, I go, oh, that's actually like a good pick. Mm -hmm. And then I see this fucking tweet where apparently and this is how it relates to music 25 minutes later, especially Um, as Harley Quinn, by the way, like her. She'd be really good. It's perfect. Yeah, she's enough of a tool that she would body Harley Quinn. Yeah, in a in a better way than Jared Leto did his Joker. You know what I mean? Like she would be like, she would be full bore. But I I sorry I digress. I apologize. No, you're fine. I just I don't know how to like, I don't know. I uh, there's still too many emotions around the Jared Leto Joker because I didn't want to immediately shit on it because like everyone. Well, like everyone had such an emotional reaction after Heath Ledger that they were like, no one else is the Joker, which was ironic because when Heath Ledger was cast as the Joker, everyone was like, he's going to be the worst Joker ever. <laughs> um, you know, it was like the same thing when like fucking Roman Reigns got cancer, all the re- or his uh, leukemia came back. All the wrestling fans were like, fuck Roman Reigns. And then he's like, I have leukemia. And they were like, I've actually loved Roman Reigns since the beginning. You know what I mean? It's it's what's happening with ooh, and we could talk about this later because I'm really curious about your perspective. But it's also what I feel like is happening with, uh, you know, I'm not even going to bring that up because that's going to get us on a crazy okay. tangent. Yeah, we were um, about to bring this to music with Lady Gaga. Just remind me about uh, Creed. I want to. I have a thing about Creed we might want to talk about later. But yeah, and then I see this thing about the new Joker movie, um, and it says uh, according to some Variety article, uh, it says Joker Two is reportedly mostly a jukebox musical and features at least fifteen cover songs. And I'm like, that's that's what the we dumbest need. thing I've ever heard. That's exactly what we need. Like, well, I, no, that was my tweet. That was my tweet. I go. I go, that makes sense. I did think it was annoying how the first one was a good movie and lacked 15 cover songs. So I'm glad they figured that out. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, it's why? a good way to to kind of wedge that in there. It just to me, I I like I can't think of a I can't think of the I'm not like dreading it. It's not the exact polar opposite of anticipation, but it is literally it is a feeling of of like I I couldn't care less than i than i thought i couldn't care before you know what i'm saying like I, i've reached a new level of like oh it's a musical and i'm definitely not gonna see it and not because i just because i don't like musicals or i i have nothing again it's probably gonna be the best movie ever because of the yeah. people involved it Everybody. probably won't be it probably won't be because that's but like I, yeah, I really don't think it will <laughs> if i'm being honest i don't think i'm gonna like it dude legitimately i went from because i told you I think Joaquin Phoenix, awesome weirdo. Lady Gaga, awesome weirdo. Like, I think they're both going to be fucking great. Isn't Todd Phillips the director, too? Isn't he also? Like, he's a weirdo? Possibly. Um, I honestly don't know. But, um, yeah, they're awesome weirdos that I go, yes, they're the type of weirdos I need to, I want for my actors and actresses. Although, I guess you're not supposed to say actress anymore. Um, But uh, they're the type of weirdos I want for (laughs) my my actors and shit but it's like the second you see there's this weird fucking thing with there's this weird fucking thing with um like comic book movies where they just go like okay who's gonna see it all right interesting how do we make it bad for them like how do we appeal to how do we appeal to everyone not going to see it right yeah i think you're like you're like dude who the fuck wants like they're selling it like oh this is going to be flocked by Lady Gaga fans. And you're like, dude, I don't think it is. Yeah, I really, I don't, it's not the fact that it's a musical, the fact that it's like, it's, it's, they're going to be like, this is groundbreaking. This is the, the, and it's like, 
it's it's just a it's just a it's just a when you bring musical like other hit songs you're not even writing songs for it because like then you have like a theater show like a um the harry potter cursed child uh uh thing that they did on broadway was like they wrote music that it was all written by emoji and heap uh uh like they did like they wrote this whole story all this other shit it's from the book and everything like it was it was its own like they made it its own thing this is like a jukebox musical so now you've just shoved like hit songs into a comic book movie it, yeah it it doesn't make it a cool comic book movie it just turned a comic book movie into every other fucking musical because every other musical jukebox musical like rock of ages uh i can't think fuck uh isn't like mama mia kind of, well, mama mia has a story but they're all just weird well, no, every characters every, yeah. weird characters that are over the top and like that's what a musical is so now you've just taken a, a superhero movie away from superhero movie fans <laughs> you know what i mean and then that yeah you just it to musical fans so but musical fans are going they're going to be like this is too much batman and then the batman people are gonna be like this is too much musical and it's that's this is my prediction it's going yeah. to be it's going to be a movie made for only the people that made it like it's yeah like, oh, it's it's, it's a weird well there's this like weird there's this like weird disrespect people have for like comic books and shit like that now where they think they're like better than the comic book like yeah you're like you're like you know there's a reason people want to go see the joker it's because of how they've built up the character over time and it's like these people think they're better than the comic book and they'll be like well they're, they're just interchangeable people we'll give stop. them a fucking right. music it, it, it's just stop it's a changing, weird stop changing the character it yeah. is an established character and if you want to tell this story with this character make up your own fucking characters and do your own goddamn movie you know yeah. what i mean it's and and the the, other, the the other part that makes it annoying and like disrespectful to comic books is like from what i could tell there's no standard in the batman like th like this whole musical thing it's yeah. just a it's a completely out of left field for like a batman movie or any or a joker movie you know what i mean anything with batman or anything like that like there's no it's not like there's a precedent for fucking musicals in the Batman universe. Right. Yeah, there's no there's no part in and like maybe <laughs> it just takes such a realistic gritty like not even realistic gritty. By the way, if if anybody you saw the Joker, right? The Joaquin Phoenix yeah. Joker and and I'm assuming most of the chat did, I did as well. I also saw it uh when I saw the movie The King of Comedy. It is just the movie the king of comedy with a couple extra scenes almost shot for shot yeah that but i you know it's funny someone That's in my someone in my, someone in my replies someone in my replies said that right. and to that i don't even to that i don't even care because it's literally like to that it's like it's probably more of a, a an homage and a reference and everything like that. You know, that's what I, I mean, is 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 it's just doing this same thing. <clears throat> so that's what I mean. Like the first one, if you're saying, oh, you're ruining this one. The first one was perfect. No, the first one was the same thing. It was just a they took a horror. They took it was the same thing. How was it the same thing? They took these characters and instead of and they put them in a different movie. This is they're saying like, hey, we're going to take these characters and we're going to put them in a fucking musical. It's like next one. is going to um, be. Like that's I hear what I hear what you're saying. I I don't agree a hundred percent because I think um I think in the context of Batman the storyline for Joker makes sense. It's not like it's not like completely out of left field. This to me it's just like okay we're just, okay, you're clearly doing this because Lady Gaga's in it. You're just shoehorning in cover songs because Lady Gaga's in it. You think that's really what it like? Do you think they started filming? <laughs> they started Why else would there be? And they're like. Hey guys, what would you feel about a musical, huh? I mean, it probably was it probably was the plan from the beginning, but but it's like what what about Batman makes you think what about like the success of Joker and Batman and everything around the DC universe would make you think, you know what the best move for Joker 2 is? A musical. Cuz if you think about it like like I've heard that before. Yeah, obviously Joker's the king of comedy, but in the context of the Joker character, because here's the thing about the Joker. I've learned this over the years. His he has he's intentionally had 
a bunch of like a million origin stories because it yeah. like adds to the character like that's kind of part of the joker is that he doesn't have one concrete origin story it's so like theories or like traumas that he's experienced over like over times and yeah. Time. yeah yeah so so as like a nod to the king of comedy that origin story makes sense for the joker i'm saying so i'll make this one make sense i mean i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna I'll give him a chance. I'm I'm just saying I'm not excited for it. And from this current context, throwing in a bunch of cover songs for the Joker 2, it just seems stupid. It seems it seems like they're just being like, well, Lady Gaga's in it. Let's have her sing a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, because like you can't lean completely on her acting, apparently. And and also can Joaquin sing? You know what I mean? Like probably it's, not. They'll probably make him do they'll probably make him do like uh musical talk singing like they used to do back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think either way, it's just gonna be it's it's I it's not interesting to me. It was it's it's cool and it seemed like perfect casting when you got uh uh Lady Gaga for Harley Quinn, and then you hear it's a musical and you're like, Yeah, that and like you said, that makes sense because you got fucking uh shithead over there, but like I mean why why yeah why just it just it just comes down to like and that's uh, i am somebody that is right place right time for musicals i there's there i'm not against them but when you do this when you make it like it just doesn't it doesn't make sense and it just seems like gimmick for gimmick's sake or but i think more more accurately probably they can't just lean on oh yeah johnny cash i forgot he was a uh, uh walk the line uh joaquin was walked the line but also johnny cash can't sing so like no then my an ask and answer he cannot sing so <laughs> he couldn't he even do johnny cash <laughs> he can sing in the context but mm. you know mm. i'm doing johnny cash i mean mm. a fucking yeah dude you're doing a good fucking sound if That's fucking you like yeah that? in the context bro in you the context of, in the context of jc fucking rips dude i'm batman I'm gonna kill you, Joker, baby. I got it. Batman doesn't kill people, you fuck. I know, but that's in this story. No, you don't know. You don't know. Story, you I fucking did, said it. I you did, don't. I did forget that. <laughs> I did the. I said the one thing that Batman doesn't do. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck hookers, mama. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with a gun. That's I'm what I do. As sad. I'm so rich. I'm sad. I'm so rich. I'm sad. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm Batman. so rich. I'm sad. I'm so rich. I'm sad. I've had the butler oh, that has never fucked me. <laughs> How do you feel about musicals? Since we're on, since we're, you know, a music show. Like I said, right place, right time. I kind of, I, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think of like newer ones that I like. My, uh, my fucking wife loves that fucking Beatles one, Across the Universe. I thought it was okay, but I. I hated See that it. One? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I thought it was okay, but I hated it. But obviously, <laughs> but obviously watching. So like a lot of, uh, I think uh, Johnny Wayne charms here is bringing it up in, in general growing up. Oh, I children's saw that movies one. are kind of, uh, are kind of, uh, musicals like yeah. Aladdin and stuff like that. So I, I like, <laughs> my mom died it's time to sing <laughs> hey bang bang i hate the joker and i love bats bang bang i <laughs> that's uh that's my batman musical i'm working on but i like it overall i i think like there's a couple like i guess would you consider nightmare uh before christmas a musical i would assume right yeah like any of those animated ones i love animated musicals but like real life musical <coughs> trying to make me cringe because there's always a part like a uh, uh like there's always a part that's is like the stage adaptation or something yeah. like that. Like if I'm seeing them in Broadway, if I'm going to Broadway, if you're going to Broadway, then yes, I'm I'll go see a musical. But like if I'm going to watch a musical, like on it has to be animated. Because if I watch a movie of a Broadway uh a musical, Broadway, uh then that kind of bums me out. You know what I mean? Like uh I'm trying to think of uh, South Park, but see, that's animated. Yeah, see, it's got it's got to be animated no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, do, yeah, I don't hate musicals, but I don't know if I have the because I fucked with musicals back in the day. But it, it, it was the same as 
It was the same as like animated movies. I remember being a little kid where I started to like understand the formula for like kids movies in general. Cause I think kids movies actually follow a similar formula that just musicals in general do when you have like a standard musical where like, let's say the kids movie is like an hour and a half. The general model of a kids movies is bro. First 45 minutes absolute vibes yeah absolute utter vibes and then the main character does something to fuck shit up and then we're just sad for 30 minutes and yeah. then pull up the rear fucking those last 15 minutes he saves the day we end on vibes and i remember as a little kid i would always just check out for the sad 30 minutes i'd go because i knew what was going to happen i go he's going to save the day and this part sucks because he's everyone's mad at him so i would just emotionally check out and that would be the similar thing because in the musical you'd have that like middle to end period where he's like i'm trying to make everything better and it would just be chock full of fucking ballads and i gotta be honest dude i i don't hate i don't know i don't know what it is like when it's just like when it's just like a ballad or a or a bare yeah. bones like there's i'm not saying never like there's something about like there's something about Adele songs that do it for me. Like what's the one she had where it's like, mm -hmm. like, you. <laughs> like that one I vibed out with. I think it's because I liked her. I was kind of attracted to her when she was like big and fat. I, I think mm -hmm. that's part of it. She's, she was a good big em. Yeah, she was never. I don't. Uh, she was definitely uh, like a, she was overweight, but I don't think she was ever necessarily fat. You know what I'm saying? Like she, she was, she was like pH fat. Like she, I think she had a. If I were to have to undress her with my eyes, I would say <clears throat> that uh, she was no Susan Boyle. Let's just say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she wasn't a. She wasn't a. I monk. mean, you could have, you could have sucked all the weight out of Susan Boyle and still would look like a bridge troll. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Either way, <laughs> yeah. I think there's, yeah, Scott Pilgrim. I, I didn't like that. I didn't. That wasn't really a musical, though. It kind of was. It. it, it were was there a, songs? Well, like, so there were, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if they sang, though. Like, but there were the songs. You know what I mean? There were, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't count Scott Pilgrim as a musical. No. Eh, but no. it also wasn't good either. Um, So I think. You didn't think it was good? I didn't like it. It was really? it was too much. It was too much for me. Uh, I That was one fans ruined. But if you got to see it unbastardized. No, I, no, I, I think it. if you. Yeah. I think I think if you because I got to see Scott Pilgrim before everyone sort of like latched on to it. And um, but I, I get what you're saying. Scott Pilgrim was because that was during the time period where like fucking Michael Sarah was Michael Sarah was starting the generation of like, oh, your leading character can be a fucking autistic pussy. Yeah, I, I, I want to say I thought it was it, like it, there was I can't say like it was a bad movie. I just yeah. it's one of those things that like for me, if like if the more people pushed it for sure. Like they were like, this is yeah. the best fucking thing. It was like, I, okay. Like it was like one of those things of it's the same way we talk about um, the bear. We were yeah. like, yeah, it's a good show. But like the more you guys tell me it's the best show, the yeah. more like it's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Just work in a fucking kitchen. You dorks. It's not <laughs> fun or entertaining. No, it's, 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 there's a lot of shit like that. Like the bear, fucking rules rick and morty rules right. scott pilgrim pretty good movie yeah, it's a good movie all the fans like, around it oh my god dying a fire you're, if you don't say it's the greatest you know what i'm saying like it, it's like it was and, and that was the thing is i i can't tell you like a bad thing about it i just didn't like i thought it was all right like it was a well, good it's <laughs> it's from my perspective it's exhausting because it's like the cartoon parts of it the video well, game parts of it was like i know it's it's part of it but it's just like ugh. Well, from my perspective, like something like something like the bear or Rick and Morty always sticks out where it's like when the people get super annoying about how much they like it. And you're like, yeah, I, 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 I can understand like they, they, they try to push it. Like it's hard for you to get why they would like it. You're like, oh, are you a big fan of the really good show? Like, yeah. shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. the, like, I don't, if I was telling someone I like the bear, I wouldn't spend a lot of time fighting for it. Cause I just know it's good. It's if. Like when I try to when I try to convince people I'm not a dork for still listening to early 2000s Fall Out Boy, that's where you put up the energy. That's yeah. where you gotta like, 
I get it. Let me explain myself yeah. though. You know what I mean? Like save it for that. Yeah, I, I've got plenty of I got plenty of bad takes. You've heard millions of them for sure. Uh, Batman related. The fact that you, we've talked about this in the past. My favorite Batman is Batman and Robin, and I think that's the best in my opinion. It's my favorite, and also my Planet of the Apes theory, where every Planet of the Apes movie is equally as good as the other ones. <laughs> like all of them are good. That's really funny. There's no such thing as a bad Planet of the Apes movie, much like there's no such thing as bad pizza. It's just not as good as some of the other ones, but like they're all like you're never going to be like this. Is, this Can is I ask? Okay, wait. Let me ask you this about Batman and Robin. Okay. When you say it's good, are you talking from an entertainment standpoint? Now that just like, or just, just wait, 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 hold up. Are you talking from an entertainment? St like it's just yeah. has high entertainment value. Or are you saying from start to finish, it is a by the books, good movie? Well, I think I think it, as far as the Batman's movies go, like when you go to Batman movies, but like, no, no, no. Do you get the all, dis, do you get the distinction I'm making? Uh, one more time. I'm saying just for pure entertainment, entertainment. Yeah. for pure entertainment value versus like just a structurally good classic movie. Entertainment value. Yes, I do think it is from start to finish. It's just it's a, a it's a good movie. It's well acted. You got you got Jim Carrey, Tommy Lee uh, Jones. You got fucking uh, George Clooney, Chris. Uh, what's his face from? Uh, oh, God damn. What's his name? Chris. You know, what I'm talking about Robin. Uh, you got fucking Alfred and you got uh, also Same, isn't, Alicia isn't Alicia Silverstone in that one, too. Isn't that the first one she's in? I don't know. But like, OK, so then you also have Batgirl inclusion. As far as Batman movies, considering all of the life of Batman, like you said, you, there's dark sides, there's goofy, campy sides, there's the 1960s Batman. Everything was represented in this movie. You had uh, plenty of villains represented. As far as the action, it's just as fun as any of the other Batman movies. It's like when you're too much, there's the dark ones, right? You got your Dark Knights, you got your uh, Dark Knight Rises. Hey, Florida Pat. <laughs> <laughs> but then but then you have your campier ones like the tim burton ones and the fucking other ones where they're like fighting with glow sticks you know what i mean like yeah dude tim burton ones suck shit dude they're fun saying. they're fun but the tim burton ones suck shit right and that's what um I'm he, yeah, tried I, to, he was campy and then he would try to be very serious and it's like you can't you can't you gotta have the full you gotta have a nice even spread it's a nice peanut butter jelly mix of a movie and as far as like entertainment yeah i enjoyed it and in peak Jim Carrey, you got peak. I love Tommy Lee Jones as a as a child. I was one, probably one of the only children in, in the world that loved the movie The Fugitive. <laughs> I love Tommy Lee Jones, and then I even watched yeah. the the sequel. You had such a rough childhood. That's you crazy. Guys, you remember U.S. Marshals? That movie. It was like the sequel to that, and it was mm -hmm. all he, they were chasing Wesley Snipes this time instead of. Uh, Dude, do you uh, remember Vivica A. Fox? Yes, I do. I was just talking about her recently. Her in Independence Day got me through a lot <laughs> oh yeah um Sorry. so okay i hear what you're saying i definitely think batman and rock like i'd rather watch uh what? christopher i'd rather watch christopher nolan's batmans without even question over any of them but batman and robin's a fun movie there's wait. a lot of fun movies that aren't like oh wait batman for, I'm sorry, batman for i said the wrong one they, i got i got a clarification i was explaining the correct one but that's batman forever not batman and robin that's my bad Right? But Batman and Robin is see. I knew you liked Batman and Robin a bunch because when I first met you, I thought it was ice to meet you. <laughs> I'm never going to say that Arnold Schwarzenegger is a bad Mister Freeze, and if you guys will, I will fight you on. I was just going to say I I have that opinion of that's the best Batman movie, but I will never sit there and die on that hill, right? But I will die on a hill saying he was the perfect Mr. Freeze. He was oh, yeah, the Tommy Freeze. Dude, I always thought the did you ever see the animated one with Mr. Freeze? Uh, no, but I, I remember that was on WB, right? Or was that are you talking about a movie? It was a movie, dude. I haven't seen that movie. No, oh, dude. I remember watching that. That one went fucking. I might watch that again. What was that called? That one was so fucking good because, like, it got really heavy. Yeah. Uh, what was the movie called? Did it? Did I make this up? Was it a musical? Uh, <laughs> I would have remembered it. If it was uh, animated and it was a musical, I would have seen it. Um, Batman sorry, and guys. 
Yeah, Poison Ivy and, and Mr. Freeze one. That's also a good one, by the way. I do like Yeah, that's that's yeah. Batman and Robin. That's a good one. Can you vamp while I look for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess oh, so my theory with the Planet of the Apes movies is there is a new one coming out, and I'm like, man, add that to the pile. I love, I love the Tim Burton uh bat uh Planet of the Apes. And I don't know why would you argue against that one? Are you fucking stupid? How can you say, oh, Charlton Heston is so believable as an astronaut, but Mark Wahlberg wasn't? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You got you're a, you're a troll, dude. <laughs> fuck off. What's wrong with the Tim Burton one? Tell you me the fuck? theory. Are you going to argue that this Talking Monkeys movie is not as believable or as good as this newer? No. Okay. Movie? For okay, you you're you're you're, you're arguing yeah, on you're Roth, you're, no Roth no Pat Pat movie. please Patrick Watch please. It again. Watch it again. Please, I will watch it again. And when he fucking when he gets back to play, first off, Mark Wahlberg just in general sucks shit at acting. Okay, here we go. He, here Pat. Go. I mean, I mean, if we're gonna start off on the lie that Mark Wahlberg's a good actor, he's an American treasure, and I will lie in court about all the Chinese dudes he's beat up, and also a a uh, a <laughs> or whatever uh, the fuck they were uh, Filipino. Also a also a possible American uh uh savior because if he said if he was on the flights for 9 11 he would have fucking stopped him but he was didn't get the chance it would have it would he said it would have gone down differently and is that not true if he was on the plane it would have gone down differently hey 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 (laughs) and it would just punch their body what you got the box cutter for it's in the trees what you got the box cutter for it's in the trees don't fucking don't fucking fly to that field mark where's the plane it's in the trees. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to the Pentagon? No, that's a missile, Mark. Okay, well, don't fly into a field. Omega Man was a wild movie. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> How is there only one fucking camera in the Pentagon that day? Yeah. Uh, he, now I'm just doing my thing. He, he, didn't, he didn't fight the right, the correct war. He he fought a uh, a hypothetical that we all do in the shower. If I was on the plane, I would be like, fucking, give me that fucking shit. Give me the wheel. Ugh. I would have lit it. I would have been like, I would have been like, Thank God. Never forget those two planes crashed. And also American hero, Pat charge. (laughs) Sure. We've all had that bark, but yes, uh, that planet of the apes movie is spectacular. Just as all the other ones. I think you just like to be a hot dog guys. I love hot dogs. (laughs) You want to know that, but I would never, ever lie to you. Andy, I would never lie to you. I love all of the planet of the apes movies equally but I take them into like seven 1960s and seventies movies. I'm going to go, those aren't going to be as good as other ones, especially if there's a ton of special effects needed. You know what I mean? Like if you have talk and they're going like, Hey, hey this is a better movie. When the apes talk like this, hey, this is how apes should actually talk. Fuck off. Like you, the, you, uh, apes, the same story. It just fucking made it better. You grade things on a weird scale whether i like him or not and that's reality no 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 you're being sassy you're being sassy no i wasn't trying to be sassy i i don't know about trying you were because i got sassed the fuck up i guess that just comes naturally to a sister (laughs) yeah yeah deep throat that you fucking fat slut um well first off you said first off you said like something about worrying about if the movies are believable that is a absolute horseshit uh standard i don't give a fuck if movies are believable i just want them to make sense in their own context and then um and then you were saying about this whole thing with a amount of cgi dude i don't care if the whole movie cgi you just said you love animated move animated musicals that whole thing's fake so the amount of the amount of uh special effects and stuff doesn't matter it just has to fucking needed like that's what i'm saying is like the fact that they put all these fucking ape masks on people with lips that didn't fucking move so like that, like, like I'm saying, wasn't that back in the day though? That's what I'm saying. Like if, if that movie was made in this time, I feel like that's the same movie. It's the same movie. It's the same fucking movie. And, and hmm. I, I, Charlton Heston is fun. Sure. We all love guns, but like, I, I don't think that, are you going to say Charlton Heston is an incredible actor? 
as opposed to Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I can't even, that was a troll. <laughs> I can't even tell you one Charlton Heston movie, but I know that's true. <laughs> Guess what? Um, um, no, I'm not even defending the old Planet of the Apes movies. I'm I'm too ADD to get through any of those. I'm just saying, first off, the new ones rip. They're, oh. they, the new ones rip the hardest, but I do got to go back and watch the Mark Wahlberg one because I think you've... Like, so did I tell you about the time I worked with that guy who would always hit me with a hang 10 and yeah. then I started <laughs> and then I started mocking him with the hang 10 and, and now and now I can't stop hang 10 I I feel like that's what you've done with Mark Wahlberg Planet of the Apes. I think you've said it's good enough times that you just you don't even know if you believe it anymore. I'm going to I'm very I'm not only going to watch it. I'm going to suggest it to Dom. And I'm going to say if we don't own it, which I'm sure we do. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you own multiple copies. You I, definitely I'll, have, you definitely have three DVDs, not even a Blu-ray of it. <laughs> but I'm also, I'm also going to, I'm very excited to watch it because not only do I go, oh, is this going to hold up? I'm going to like, I can't wait to see it again. I saw it two times in theaters. I saw it two times in the theaters. Dude, what? When it was out, like in the first run. I don't know if we it was did. a dollar theater at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I one. needed, I needed heat. <laughs> Actually, it was it's Florida. We we're talking about AC while you're in Texas. Uh, yeah, I, I had AC, but, <laughs> but it was also a Ooh. lovely uh, break from the hot. It was I didn't even tell you about fucking Texas, and I have a thing to bring up that's music related. This okay, this drove me crazy. Yeah, fucking um. So Texas is like Texas was fun as hell. The weather was really nice. I definitely yeah. got. It was funny. I went down there. The weather was fucking great. Literally, like. I, I went the first day, I didn't bring my hoodie, and then we're, we were standing out around, like, before we went back to Nate's apartment, we were going to get food from a food truck, and uh, I'm standing outside, I'm like, I'm freezing my ass off. It's like that fucking cold. So Texas can actually get a little bit nibbly. You know, it don't, Yeah, it's nothing as bad as, I'll take that Texas cold over this cold uh, any day of the fucking week, but. Um, it's a yeah, dry te- cold. <laughs> I will say that dry heat is I think people poo poo the dry heat and I remember being in Vegas for Skankfest and I was like oh this 95 is different than a PA 95 or like a Jersey 95 because like the like it's still hot I was still sweating but it's more pleasant than like a super humid yeah east coast yeah, right. 95 yeah that's the problem with florida is, is it's like swamp heat like especially yeah. where, I grew, where i grew up was like so sur- like three sides of us were s- surrounded by water and it was well, just, you said you grew up on the little you grew up on the thumb. penis part of florida where it's like fucking four hours to get from coast to coast yeah it's it's not well i don't even know if it's four hours shit but it's like it's crazy that it's like it's surrounded like you're you got the gulf like and basically that kind of goes in as a little peninsula right there so I was surrounded by water. So every time it, the hotter it got, the muggier it got. So it was just the humidity was almost like fucking in the 80s, 90s. It felt like crazy every day. But <clears throat> so a dry heat is preferred because even in so like springtime or fall time, our winter is basically like up north spring and fall. Yeah. So like the oldest it ever got in Florida was around this time where it's like, yeah, it can, it'll drop. It'll go down there. And and that's usually when the air is drier, too. So it was always like, oh, this is great, because even if it was like in the 80s, the air was still really dry. So if you just got in the shade, you're like, oh, this is fucking nice. Get a nice breeze. It it was like what North feeling must have uh, North living must have felt like. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry. The one comment, the one comment made me laugh where he goes, uh, he goes, what part of Florida is not the penis part? (laughs) And, and, and honestly, uh, most of it's the dick. Most of Florida is the dick. We're the growth. No, we're the dick on the dick. We're the growth on the dick. We're down, go down. It's right here, right there. So can you zoom in at all or yeah. Where did you grow up? You see the literally where Tampa is. That's like on the other side of the bridge on the on the little penis part like so like go oh, over you, you were like the war over in saint yeah. peter yeah that's it saint peter you were the like wart on the dick yeah dude i'm telling you it was we were trapped <laughs> oh shit so like we, there's only one way to get out this a really it's an eight hour drive out of florida and that was i remember thinking that at the time was like un, unbelievably undoable 
Like Wait, you, from St. Peter to up here is eight hours. Yeah, to, to like the Georgia state line. Because, a uh, fun fact about Florida, you're not allowed to sell 40 ounces of beer in a container. It can only yeah. go months. So We anytime, talked about that. Re, re, re-educate them. Yeah, so in uh, if you wanted those eight extra ounces in the bottle, you would have to drive up to Georgia. So anytime, and also a lot of big-time bands or concerts wouldn't tour down in florida for a long a lot of our childhood they do now it's a little bit more really now but like i remember at the time friends of ours that went to texas or not texas sorry to uh to georgia to see weezer and we paid them a little bit of extra uh to bring back like a case of quartz with them (laughs) so like interesting and then you would bring them back here and then you would sell them around and it would be just cool because we'd be like hey look we're drinking actual 40s it's so cool (laughs) my i uh I was hooking up with a chick in college who would do that with cigarettes for her parents because she lived in like upstate New York. Yeah. And um, yeah, she would just she would go back home with just cartons of cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going back to our talk on No More Heroes, my aunt does that still even to this day, goes to the Indian reservation to get uh, to get, <laughs> to get cigarettes. Oh, yeah, because everything's uh, everything's way cheaper over there. Yeah. That's also where we go to gamble, my friend. And they're still fucking complaining. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, you know, over. <laughs> God, guys. all this. You got all this upstate yeah. real estate. Yeah. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Look on the bright side. Yeah. Um, <laughs> interstate trafficking illegal. Yeah, but it was for sweet, sweet puss. <laughs> Actually, that was the first time um I cockblocked myself for from a podcast. I remember really? I was talk. Yeah, I was talking about her. And I got too detailed with her fucking, and she like uh, listened to the podcast, and we stopped fucking after that. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought she'd actually listen? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you don't think about people. Oh, so anyway, uh, yeah, Texas was chill. It was very nice because, uh, you know how? What's the? Uh, you're a McDonald's guy, right, Pat? Sure. What's the uh, dollar menu situation over in Pennsylvania? I think it's gone down to it's just the value menu now. Like it's yeah. not like, it's not a dollar menu anymore. So I think everything's like two for two, two for three. Like have so like, have the have the like McDoubles broken three dollars yet? I think they're two for three. I think they're a dollar fifty now. So like I don't know if it's something $1. like that. fifty. Yeah. So I think it'd be like two two for three. I think for those or oh like see added, they have a triple now in the mix, which is wonderful and and enticing. No. Uh, and then also like weird uh like you add bacon and, and all this other shit but also yeah. like they threw mcnuggets in there so i'm not complaining but also the mcchicken the mcchicken hasn't been s- the same since they did away with the uh the spicy mcchicken the first time i know that they've brought it back but Ooh. when they got rid of it the first time Ooh. ever since then any mcchicken has not tasted the same I'm gonna, all right, spicy McChicken sounds good. I forgot that existed. You ever had that? Oh man, that fir- that first run of those spicy McChickens, dude. Uh, yeah. You get yourself a fresh double cheeseburger and a fresh spicy McChicken before they realized, oh, we can make these a lot smaller and still charge them the same. And they were like <laughs> actual like good su- substantial. Oh man, so good. Mm. Um. Oh, so so I, the reason I ask. Wait, did you ever hear the McGangbang? What was that? I've heard of the gangbang, and every time I hear about it, I for, I ask what it is because I forget. I forget, like it's like a thing that you have to like put together or something, right? I always, yeah, I always. Whenever I heard of the McGangbang, I always, and then when someone described it to me, I always go, I feel like gangbangs too much for that. So you went it to says, you went here, to I, you went to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Was I not speaking clearly? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I just realized, oh, yeah, we're talking about Andy's uh, Texas trip. And I was like, wait a minute. He just said, hey, you're a McDonald's guy. I'm like, yeah. I had a- various things. <laughs> you know what they say, Pat? Everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> um, no, the McGangbang. Yeah, it's a McChicken in between a double cheeseburger. And I'm like, hmm, that doesn't even that's, sound not, good. that's a three-way. That's not a gangbang. I don't even know if it's a three-way. It's just... Well, it's two set. cheeseburgers and a McChicken, so it's. I think it's supposed to be like. I was about to make a bad joke. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to say. It. I just want to. I just want to. I'll put this out to the chat, and anybody, you can hit me up in the comments if you think I'm wrong. But I got a game changer for everybody else there, and it's been sitting there 
in front of our fucking faces this whole time. I've only heard about it last year. You ready for this? Get a Big Mac. Okay. Take that middle bun out. Wow. Why? Because you st- you can't order it without it. You can't order it without it. You have to order it with the bread in the middle. Then then pull it out, but keep the in- the the toppings in there. Why Run. would you do that? It's a it's like a it's a, it's a gourmet double cheeseburger. <laughs> Just get a double cheeseburger with Big Mac sauce. It's different ingredients, Andy. You don't understand. Wait, what are the <laughs> what are the ingredients on a Big Mac? A sesame seed bun. <laughs> oh, oh, can you put a? You know what they're gonna say? They're gonna say, "Do you want a Big Mac?" If you start going, "Hey, can I get a double cheeseburger?" But can you put it on a sesame seed bun? But don't put the middle bun. But the, and they're gonna be like, "What do you just want to? Do you just want a Big Mac?" With, well, wait. What if you no said, middle bun? Okay, it's the Big Mac bun. Yeah, hundred percent beef patty, shredded lettuce, Big Mac sauce, All pasteurized beef. processed American cheese. Don't mention that. Pickles. <laughs> I mean, that's what's on it. I'm reading their website. It's on their website. Here, I'll fucking show you. I'll fucking Pat, Pat. I'll fucking show you, dude. Big Carl. I'm looking at it right here, dude. <laughs> oh, it looks yeah. Awesome when they put it out like that, <laughs> yeah, it looks so sterile and uh, scientific. Uh, the meat doesn't look good. Meat looks weird. Pickle slices, onions. All right. So what's uh? Oh man, look at that. But look at the look at the the layout of it. Can we just order it? get lunch <laughs> yeah it's the same thing but but there's just mustard. get a double cheeseburger with big mac there's some mustard on a big mac what there's no mustard on a big mac well say no mustard andy what are we doing here am i reading them a story or am i gonna just say a big mac thanks <laughs> and then pull the fucking bun out it's how it's made listen to what i'm saying why are you questioning me look at what's the fucking, what's the fucking point if you pull the middle bun out Preparation of it. <laughs> it's how it comes to your table. I just the Big Mac's almost perfect. Almost. It's, it's perfect. Take the bun out, and then it is. I'm telling extra, you, guys, extra try bun it is. You can, try it before you judge. Wait, what's a big Carl? I think it's just the same thing. Oh wait, no. But I was thinking of the big. Boy. No chance. The, Bob, the Bob's the Bob's Big Boy is the is. The oh, show. it's a Carl oh, Junior. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I don't know about that one. Actually, Pat, I think what you want is a big Carl. Okay, let me see. Show it to me. <laughs> Should you guys dick? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be risky, but I'd be like, you know what, Andy? You're like, I'm gonna I'm, order two. I, my mouth's not watering. <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Don't take that meat out of that bun. <laughs> <laughs> that meat in my buns. Look, there's no middle oh, bun. I need lettuce on the top too, guys. You're not understanding the construction <laughs> of a Big Mac. I understand. I know you're trying to help me. I know you're trying to help me, but I'm not ordering it anything special. I don't have to say anything special. I go, hey, oh, dude. give me a Big Mac exactly how it comes. I'll do the rest. <laughs> I don't if you're know. Gonna, dude. If you're going to ring out your own groceries at the store, why aren't you going to just take a bun out just for your own pleasure? Enjoy it. It's a delicacy. You have to order it the way it comes, and then you take that part out. And I got to tell you, this, the little piece of bread that comes out, that's pretty good on its own. <laughs> dude, you know what's a good time? If you want to just feel like a little piggy, Bro, get a double quarter pounder with cheese, just ketchup, and what they do. Because if you ever want to just feel like a little gross pig, you say you say <laughs> like ju- gross pig. <sighs> you just want to be like, I'm, I'm bad, and I yeah. deserve this. Yeah, this is you get it? Because what happens is when you tell them I want just ketchup, yeah, they give you more ketchup, and then it's all <laughs> sloppy and it's all going all over the place, and you just—it helps you feel like the trash you are. Why don't you just order extra ketchup? You don't have to. Oh, you don't have to. They don't. I'm sorry, I was just doing you earlier. <laughs> That's I didn't, that. Oh God, that was just listen to the words when I say that it. was such a good fucking impression. I sound just like that. <laughs> you were like, wait, Pat, what? what? Huh? Which? Is, are there is there another handy in the room? <laughs> All right, I gotta close this down. I'm just I haven't eaten today. And I'm just looking at McDonald's website. <laughs> no, I I'm ate. Big Mac. I'm gonna take that bun out. I'm gonna watch Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ate Patrick. I I ate you. No, I ate food in Austin that wasn't McDonald's. It was just um yeah because I got there Monday. I got there Monday and then we were hanging out and then we got uh. We got uh, Chinese food from this one fucking food truck. Yeah. 
so that was that i got chicken on a stick which was a little overcooked but still tastes good and i got some dumplings which fucking ripped and then the next day oh yeah because that's where i got this nifty little haircut um everyone in austin everyone in texas is very nice the lady cutting my hair was so nice they're such nice people yeah we don't have to act like this in the east coast it's crazy we don't have to act like this do you think i'm gonna um, do you think i'm gonna am i going to fit in there <laughs> am i you're well no you're a you're a uh sweet sweet boy you just will turn on a dime when people wrong you i'm the same way i'm the same i'm that's why i get you okay good i, I want to make sure that it wasn't like oh this is so nice but she's just taking her time everything's a little slower in the south <laughs> yeah i um there's a little bit of, I think that you'll have to deal with that. I think you might have to deal with people being a little bit slower, but I didn't really, I was only there for two days. I didn't really get like a huge influx of that feeling. So, yeah. um, we'll see though. Um, yeah. So what, but, was uh, the what was the musical experience that you had in Austin? Oh yeah. Well, I, I want to defend my McDonald's oh. eating. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Cause, cause I'm like, I'm at, I don't have a car and I was doing things out and about. So I'm like taking, I was trying to, I had to take Ubers and I don't want to take too many Ubers. So I fucking, uh, I, I stopped at this, uh, I stopped to get a haircut. Then I grabbed stuff from Walmart. Then I fucking hit up a McDonald's and shit. And then the next day when I was going to the airport, I didn't know like what anything was. So it was funny. I got an Uber to this McDonald's. And then as I'm driving, I saw a really nice breakfast spot that I was like, I almost should have been like, you just take me there. <laughs> Yo, I think I think you know what they say that the McDonald's Coke is something a little bit extra. Yeah, yeah. I think that's true, dude. Because yeah, like, it, it, it I actually, got specifically it, it actually is like the it company. is right. Yeah, yeah, dude. I got a bro. Now, now I only do this because I'm there and I'm gonna refill it. But like, I I get the whole cup full of ice. Yeah, I fill it with Coke and it's just fucking delicious, dude. Like they have the ratios specifically. Like there's something about even the way that they store it and the the Coke containers or the canisters that come into uh, the McDonald's are in like uh, metal or some kind of and as opposed to plastic. Uh, there's other things where like the syrup, like the distribution is like a little bit higher, but it's perfectly balanced with the water and like the amount of ice that they're they put in there is like it's like yeah. it like the more it melts, like the as you drink it, like they've like basically timed it perfectly to where like as the ice melts it never diminishes the taste of the 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 syrup so like it's always it's like the first sip is the same as the last sip even mm. at like shitty mcdonald's you're gonna get a pretty solid coca-cola that's pretty great yeah <laughs> yeah or it's one of the best sprites too like all of it's all the coke products i think all yeah i think all the mcdonald's soda is just better yeah yeah i don't know because like i'm i'm everyone always goes on about like Oh, American food is poison. Like there was this thing on Twitter where they showed like an American Fanta versus like a European Fanta. And the guy was like, I've had both. The American one's poison. And I'm just like, yeah, but it's all like so fucking good. Like, yeah. why can't we just find a place where you let everyone know it's poison and you go, just don't eat the poison that often. Right. It's not, you're not supposed to eat the poison for breakfast. You're supposed to have it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're you're supposed to like have a little bit of poison so that you get used to it over time. You grow just, immunity to it. Well, there is also it because I've been thinking about this with like seed oils because every and I I do want to transition away from seed oils, but okay. there is a part of me that goes like, but I have been like using seed oils consistently my entire life, and I'm still here and fine. So. It's like if you see the process of seed oils being made, it's fucking insane. But there is also the other part of you that like when you use them, you're like, well, I'm not like completely fucked up. And it's the same thing when people bitch about milk. You're like, we're the only creature out there that drinks milk from a cow. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's good. I don't know if yeah. if cow piss tasted like milk, we'd probably drink it. Like it just makes sense to our taste buds. You fucking dork. We're also the only animals that figured out how to make computers. So like, what are you saying? Like yeah we're, you can't we're, we're total bullshit <laughs> yeah you can't use a computer because a fucking dingo didn't figure that out yeah dumbass we also don't <laughs> eat our babies um get it so the music uh the music experience i the music experience i went through so um didn't get to really uh 
didn't get to really see any music or anything like that. We mainly stuck to, uh, like, we went to the Creek in the Cave Monday night, which, shout out the Creek. That's where I got some dope ass. They have, like, the Creek in the Cave has, like, a fucking food truck that pulls up in the backyard area of the Creek. And they serve, like, Wagyu burgers and all this other dope shit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the next day we did the show at Cap City. So I didn't get to go out and see, like, I didn't get to do any touristy shit, which is fine. Yeah. Um, but I get on the airport, I get to the airport in Austin and because Austin's like, Oh, we're such a, we're such a, um, we're such a music city and this and that, uh, dude, they just have loud ass acoustic guitar people playing throughout the airport. And it's like, I hated it because the airport, <laughs> the airport to me is already a loud and yeah. boisterous and hectic place it's chaotic yeah and then when you finally get to your gate and you're sitting there and you're like i don't know on your phone or reading a book or waiting for your fucking plane dude did you just hear some chick banging on an acoustic guitar it's fucking obnoxious yeah do they vet do you, they have to vet those people right or is there like oh no it's they're clearly hired by the airport okay. it's not yeah. just like a, it's not just someone who like posted up in there because then i would then i'm thinking like security wise like what are we doing here is this just the the street or is this a fucking airport like and then who does anybody i guess does anybody complain i guess nobody would complain that'd be like going to like a like <laughs> that'd be like trying to like just shut down like a joyful like a kids party or something like that <laughs> you know what i mean like this is like one of those things of like most people are probably like yeah ah. but like you're just, we would just be like i just gotta get fucking get to my fucking plane i just got like <laughs> it was so obnoxious to sit there and just be like shut the fuck up yeah 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 well that's the fucking i don't there know was dude well because whenever you see like the live performance and the acoustic thing and like like in the small area i don't know i'm just in the airport being like i don't want to fucking talk to anyone i just want to like get on this plane and i just want to like chill the fuck out and then you see these people just casually having a fucking 15 dollar <laughs> fucking draft beer which that's the other crazy part dude the prices in the goddamn airport um i paid like 11 dollars for a fucking turkey sandwich <laughs> i think there's something there's something weird about like uh about music and like those non it, those kind of scenarios really do make me feel for the times that i've done a comedy show at a bar where like obviously none of the patrons knew that there was going to be a show and they're yeah. like I came here to talk to my friends and have a good time and all this shit like it's it's just it's it's that exact feeling of like Dude, I just came here to go to the fucking airport. I I don't want to I don't want to fucking listen to some dickhead playing guitar right now. Uh, it's one of those it's one of those things where uh it's a scenario back in Florida. Uh, speaking of St. Petersburg, there's a place called uh the Wagon Wheel Flea Market that I would love to go to and anytime we had family visit from out of town, that was one of the main things we would go do with them. And it's just this big outdoor. By the way, I didn't know that flea markets, there were indoor flea markets until I, I traveled up north because I was like, yeah, flea market is an outdoor. It's an open air market. Like yeah, I always dude. thought like it's you just got a flea market in the cold sometimes, though. Right. I, I didn't realize that. Like, but so we would take them out to these places and all the time there is a, a food court area where you can get some of the greatest uh, worst food for you ever. You know, elephant yeah. ears. They had a blooming onion, uh, a onion blossom is what they called because, <laughs> you know, trademark a, pro a prolapsed but, onion. Yeah, prolapsed onion <laughs> and and the tool. You could also at the flea market buy the tool to make the fucking thing yourself. It's pretty cool. Nobody Wait, really that. nobody wants to make a blooming onion themselves. It's gross and it sucks and it makes a mess and it's only for like one fried onion. Um, but every time we would go there, you know, blooming my, onions oh, are kind of insane. My whole life, Andy, my entire life, there was forever this fucking old. She seemed like she was the same age my entire life. Um, she's like a older 50s white woman. She actually uh, uh, would have CDs for sale <laughs> and, and would nonstop full volume horribly sing karaoke style a ton of hits. Oof. And every single time i would just be like god damn it this is the way I, and we would try to time it to where we heard when she was taking one of her breaks to go there and eat so yeah like, even as a kid i was like this i didn't think it was fun i didn't think it was cool i thought it was fucking lame and i thought she sucked in yeah. my whole life she was lame and she fucking sucked so like <laughs> 
there is something about when it's music because you uh, you can ignore music and musicians have the ability to also ignore people that are ignoring them and they just will just be louder and more present and it's just so much more annoying because it's like nobody wants you here <laughs> that and is always an interesting thing where i would say in austin i would walk past him and go nobody wants you here and then go to the <laughs> next one we heard what i said to him you too <laughs> <laughs> that always is an interesting thing where like you walk by a certain thing because that's what i get very intrigued by people sometimes because i always like walk through this i walk through this world thing and i got a pretty good grasp on this whole thing like i I'm, i got a pretty good understanding of what's right what's wrong what annoys people what doesn't annoy people shit like that right. and then you just like walk by a thing yeah and it's why i like you know you know what it is i think my problem is i actually give people too much of the benefit of the doubt because i think sometimes you just have to accept people are fucking insane and you don't you don't need to waste time figuring them out yeah. because yeah like the thing you were laying down with that lady people like that i i i i low-key love them because i want to part of me wants to analyze them and go like how do you not know that this is obnoxious right. like in in what world do you not know that this is annoying as shit? right it doesn't make any sense to me that that at no point i'm sure once be when once the internet became prevalent in her life and she started trying to go like you can go to my website at stupid bitch that sings in the food court <laughs> in the flea market dot com dot blogspot dot com yeah, dot blogspot dot uk dot media fire she it, it, like i'm sure the hate just poured in at that point and i would hope at some point but it really and i'll, I'll say this from experience as somebody you don't want to it's it's an interaction that you don't you don't want to you don't want to even engage with them a little bit nope because no matter there's no win for you there's no there's no point in attacking this woman <laughs> because because like like really no point in attacking her <laughs> that's really funny i mean like i meant verbally but also you know what i mean like even tackling her and just being like stop like it it's i feel that way and i understand that even though other most people, I would say, I'm sure that you would go up to him and be like, can you believe this fucking bitch won't shut up? They'd be like, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't hear anything. Uh, you know, yeah. I, didn't, I was just hanging out with my grandkids or something like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it's, it's a situation where like, it's my, my hyper aware fucking dumb autistic ass that's sitting here going like, you're not Dwight Yoakam, bitch. Shut up. Well, like, I think, I think up. our, and it's like karaoke versions of the songs too so you don't even get to hear like i think our problem yeah i think our problem is we're on a we're on a constant we're on a constant mission to bring justice to this world and we're all standing there looking at this bitch being like is no one have a problem with this nobody's gonna do anything about this like it's literally the whole time nobody's gonna do anything about this because we watch her and go she's actively making the world a worse place to live in but also <laughs> probably helping to keep this fucking flea market in business because she's renting this goddamn space every week or however long unless True. she's an owner or something i don't know but it's like to to work in that food court would be just maddening and it would just be like I, I would like i would i wouldn't be i'd be like huh i i didn't hear what what did you order because the <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> like oh yeah dude that's what i was thinking too because there was a she was working in she was playing right next to this one restaurant and then there was this convenience store and coffee shop across the way yeah and you're just like Dude, like I don't get I don't get people who have to work in like night. Like it's one thing to work in a loud bar. It's another thing to work into like a nightclub where you have to scream to talk to anyone. It yeah. would just be that shit. It's just that that thing where it's like it's you just have to exist in an, in a disorienting environment. You know what I mean? It's one thing where there's like loud sounds. It's another thing where it's just there's this like there's this volume issue that creates a literal barrier between everyone right. you and everyone else that like existing in that shit for your whole shift has to be fucking psychotic that's like dude on the shore i can't remember if it was like wildwood or what but there was this one there was this like ice cream place that would just have this audio loop of this guy talking about like 
how great their ice cream was mm -hmm. and how good it and it was like it was an audio loop that probably lasted two minutes at most and the and and the people working there all these like it would be all these like russian immigrant exchange student type people yeah. just working there and i'm like they just had to listen to this same sentence on loop for two hours or a, a two minute loop for fucking they're probably doing like 10 12 hour shifts yeah and, the, and that like i know that there's ways to like to like block things out and stuff like that but there's also there's just there's there's so much <laughs> there's so much like it, like at a certain point i'm sure like it would start and they would go like and they like it make them physically cringe you know what i mean unless they're able to like actually like disassociate but then in that case yeah. that's kind of uh, what else what else is disassociating you know what what goes with that there was a weird there's a weird thing my my wife used to, she used to joke she used to say like oh yeah my my mom used to ignore my sister so much that she actually was like able to successfully uh like block out her voice like to where like there were times where like she'd say stuff and she'd be like huh like actually not she wasn't actively ignoring her she just taught her ears to ignore her and i was that like tone she was awful. able to block that's out an that awful tone. thing to do <laughs> yeah that's actually horrendous that's that's yeah. a that's a quick way to turn your kid into a needy little fuck yeah yeah well i mean or or you know whatever else i'm, I'm speaking <laughs> from speaking from personal experience right uh, yeah same thing like my my yeah. my big triggers andy <laughs> but yeah in the in the austin airport it would be it would be a thing where i would it's i can already see it being a problem anytime i travel with dom her just going like come on let's go and just me going like it's, they're just fucking playing he's just playing as loud as he can in, and these people are screaming as loud as they can because because you know what I'm saying you're walking into the security gate where were the musicians in the Austin airport they were, um, were they near the TSA because that would be fucking maddening to have that constant huh. going on and them going take your backpacks out take you. and it's like that where they're just screaming huh. at you I gotta be honest every time I'm not a big air I don't, I don't go to the airport a shitload yet but like TSA has been fine like I'm yeah. not going to sit here and say like, I obviously, I think it's like after doing it a bunch of times, I'm like, why do I have to take my shoes off? Yeah. <laughs> Cause like one guy, one guy did this forever ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like a lot. And then, you know, that scanner's definitely giving me cancer and shit like that. But just on a person to person level, I've, I don't know. I've, I've, I, the TSA agents are fine. They're just, uh, they're just another group of people doing their job. But it's um, like, the, it's like the two minute message though. It's like every, every 40 seconds, they're repeating at top volume, take your belts off, take your shoes, make sure you're electronic. And it's like, and that going on with the, hey, de, 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 de. and over here, it's just going to be like, I, oh yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't near that. It was they thankfully only put it near like the stores and restaurants. So if you were at your gate, you at most heard it off into the distance. But yeah. yeah, it just it just seemed like a fucking thing where it's like, I don't know, dude, you should be doing everything in your power to make the airport calm and quiet. Yeah. You should not be doing anything to add sound to the airport. <laughs> yeah, why are you I think, like why wouldn't you have like I like when they have those little massage chairs or there's or or like actual massage tables that yeah sit there and get like a top halfer you know what i mean nothing full full finish <laughs> not with the not with the big ending just get a one two not the three four yeah. um <laughs> yeah but uh but yeah but besides that um one besides more time that, the at mcdonald's one more time at the airport and then headed out uh <laughs> no i actually avoided uh I avoided food as much as possible at the airport. That's why I stopped at McDonald's beforehand. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Like my standard, my standard, uh, you know, I'm treating myself. I'm being a little bit of a bad boy, but I'm also trying to save a few bucks. I go to McDonald's. I get the two McDoubles. I get the one McChicken. I'm out of there for 630, dude. It's a good day. Nice. But over recent times, you know, with uh, inflation, money printing, all that, maybe. Yeah, that dude, you can, you're not catching me fucking slipping, you piece of shit. I've been trying to do it a little bit off mic to see if I can get you. <laughs> nah, don't cheat. Don't cheat. I'm trying. I'm trying to don't cheat. Don't fucking cheat. cheat. You'll never fucking You don't get cheat, me. you don't win, my friend. Are you drinking already? This is ginger ale. <laughs> my man. Is that ginger ale? Mm hmm you, Oh, oh even this up to you real quick. Even ginger ale gets the koozie. What can a I fucking distinct gentleman. Can I tell you something real quick? <clears throat> Absolutely. I almost got a divorce this week. 
uh, <laughs> I was, I was Fuck deathly yeah. ill. I've been deathly ill. It, it turns out what I thought was being dinged up from drinking too much actually might be a stomach virus. Sick. So, so I've been uh, trying to stick towards bland foods and whatever. And my beautiful wife, my wife, Dominique, she's wonderful. Made me homemade soups. She's fucking like, hey, do you need anything? You need an ice pack for your head? You want? What do you need? Anything you need? Right? Get me Gatorade. Give me all this stuff. I go, ginger ale. And she goes, okay, yeah. Anything else? And I go, she's like, oh, wait, do you want cans or a two liter? And I go, just, you can get a two liter. That's fine. Because I didn't think I was going to be sick for this long. So she comes back. She's got all the stuff to make the soup. She's got the Gatorade. She's got all this other stuff. This bitch. <laughs> What'd you do, dude? Yo, fucking let this us know. War criminal. <laughs> worse Monstrous. Than, I mean, worse than, worse than Hamas. Uh, can should, you add, should have her own. Should have her own Nuremberg if trial. Hitler ran Hamas. If Hitler was the head of Hamas. <laughs> oh my God. And they were attacking Mother Teresa exclusively. <laughs> It's not even half what she did. All right, dude. She got me Seagram's ginger. <laughs> Is that no good? Have you ever heard of it? <laughs> Wait, is it Seagram's the fucking? I'm telling gin? you, wake anybody in the a, anybody in the sh it, right here. Look, I'm looking right at the chat. Anybody in the chat? Anybody watching currently right now? Uh, even after the fact. Please hit like, hit like, and subscribe. But yeah, Seagram's also, is the gin company, right? Yeah. <laughs> she find so, <laughs> so she goes, so I go, wake anybody from a dead sleep. Wake anybody. <laughs> you could wake me from a cold, dead sleep. You could give me four Ambien, send me off to sleep, sleep town, wake me up in three hours time. And I, and she'll go and flash a flashlight right in my face and go, what's the best ginger ale? What, what you, <laughs> and I'm going to go. Canada Dry. <laughs> if someone says, get me a ginger ale, you get them a Canada Dry every time. Schweppes, Schweppes. There's, I hear people mentioning Schweppes in the in the uh, chat. But that's Schweppes. if Canada Dry isn't there. <laughs> right. That's number two. That Like, if she came in with Schweppes, I'd be like, oh, oh, they didn't have Canada Dry? But she came in with Seagram's, and I almost fucking passed out. I was like... <laughs> Give me worse abdominal pain. And I go, Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> yeah, dude. I searched, I searched, uh, search I, searched <laughs> I searched ginger ale in Google images. Yeah. Show me what you got. And you know what's not here? <laughs> Don't even doctor it. Don't even doctor it. Put it on the screen. Every, every kind of ginger ale. I, what is it? Is that There's one Seagram's right there. And it's like, Oh, I guess if you want this one, after one, there's, can it's exactly this order. Canada Dry, Schweppes, back to Canada Dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's that exact order. Back to Canada. <laughs> it's go. Here's the order. Here's the order. You go Canada Dry, then Schweppes, then you go. You sure there wasn't any Canada Dry? <laughs> yeah. And then you go. Did they have store brand? <laughs> and you go Schweppes. Again, just go and like you go, you go, I guess I'll take a Schweppes. Yeah, I guess I'll take a Schweppes. And they're like, oh no, they were out of Schweppes. And you're like, oh fuck, I forgot you said that. Uh because it doesn't it doesn't come to the front oh, of your mind God. at all. So funny. And, and I go like, and, and it's one of those things where I was like, <laughs> because of, because I'm me, I was just like, Dom's Dom's like, what is this? <laughs> That's so funny after waiting on you hand and foot. Dude, <laughs> and you're like, my right. sody pop's not right. <laughs> it's not the right kind of sody pop. It's not the right sody pop, wife. So I got, <laughs> I got my, I went to 7 Eleven. I walked as sick as a dog, walked <laughs> 7 Eleven and paid $10 for a fucking ginger ale, uh, the, the real ginger ale. Hell yeah. And dude, I, literally, I would, I would. I wouldn't bring this up if the fact that every time I've brought this up, everybody goes, yeah, just can't dry. You can't like, dry. Every fucking no, time. no. Guess again. Nope. Nope. Guess again. And it's like, what, you you can guess a hundred fucking times. It's like if you said, it's oh, like if you were like, Egrams ginger ale. It's like if you were like, can I get, can you just get me any cola? And she came back with like RC and you're like, you didn't get Coke first. Do you hate me? <laughs> 
Why'd you do that? <laughs> well, it's like one of those things that's like, it's not a big deal, but also at the same time, you're like, but why did you do that? Why'd you get that one? Like, Obviously, you get Coke first. They didn't have the, like I said, dude, I'm going store brand before I'm going Schweppes. Or not even Schweppes. I keep saying Schweppes. Says, I don't mean to degrade, uh, to, to degrade them, but I'm going store dude, brand. It's Canada dry every single fucking time. It's, it's never, ever, 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 ever anything besides Canada dry. But if it is, it's Schweppes. Again, back to Canada Dry. <laughs> back to Schweppes. Oops, I forgot you said no. And then it's, I guess, store brand. And then maybe see what else. Well, so this comment, this is what I think Dom might be drinking a little bit more than you realize behind your back. Because <laughs> what he just said, he goes, it's because these mainstream ginger ales are basically sold for setup drink. Cocktail makers, essentially, for a real delicious ginger drink, get fancy ginger beers. And that's the thing. It's like, yeah, that's like if you see someone who just casually drinks ginger beer, you're like, they only sell that at the liquor store. I guess that's what um, it is. I didn't want ginger ale. I didn't want ginger <laughs> ale. I wanted Canada Dry. It's like one of those things where, like, I didn't because, like, the first. I think it's the well, second no, isn't ingredient. Canada, Canada Dry second ingredient ginger. is well. The second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. So it's not. Well, great. how are you gonna make how are you gonna make anything edible if you don't put high fructose corn syrup in it? That's what I was thinking. But I, if if I gotta say though, since I got it, feeling a lot better. No, I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Better. I think Dom's drinking a lot more behind your back, and she's getting you. you she's bit. getting you liquor store ginger ale. <laughs> That's what she's doing. <laughs> that would be so funny. She's just like, I'm picking up smokes. What do you want? <laughs> I'll get you what I have there. <laughs> Damn. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I'm, I'm glad, glad I survived that. You're right. I'm glad you didn't get divorced because that was grounds for it. <laughs> like, I, I, and like, it's one of those things that like I can tell already. This is a tent pole of our marriage going forward. This will be a story I tell people. I'll be like, one of those, I was like, as soon as we're at dinner with everybody, we're sitting there in Austin. All the couples are there. Oh, we're having a great time. <laughs> and then somebody just mentions ginger, just the word ginger, a person. A fucking, yeah. the thing at sushi whatever it may be and then and i'm gonna go <laughs> i got a story for you <laughs> no dude can i tell you how to bring that up? over here hey guys no. let's take a poll everybody close your eyes everybody close your eyes i'm gonna say i'm gonna say think of a ginger ale and i'm gonna tell you right oh. now everybody that i'm gonna say a ginger ale if that's the one you love, raise your hands. You don't even have to do all that, dude. You don't even have to do all that, dude. You can just add a fucking nowhere. Just when Dom gets a little too big for her britches, just add a nowhere. You could go up to someone and be like, Ginger Ale, what's the first one you think of? <laughs> and then if they say Canada Dry, you go, did you know Seagram sells Ginger Ale? You didn't, right? Exactly. Uh <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny dude I, it's like you know what that is that is a that is a divorce ripcord that if i ever want a little parachute if i ever want out of this relationship i just have to keep tugging at that cord and then eventually one day i'll go hey uh i'll, I'll be <laughs> we'll be like 65 and we're just sitting there at a, at a restaurant and she does something and i'm just like the waitress comes over and go uh susan can i ask you a question <laughs> i go don't do it and i'm just gonna be like when i say ginger ale what's the first one that comes to mind <laughs> and then horse papers and i'll just be like oh okay damn that was delightful yeah that's a uh, it's it's interesting I, like i said i love i love my wife more than anything i love i would i love her more than any of you anybody else i, I, I would hope know. so so i would do anything for her i would die for her but like <laughs> that yeah was, like, that was one of those things where i was just like I don't feel like I don't even know you right now. <laughs> yeah, you're no, I, I I've had those. Who are you? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to remember. I've had a few of those. Oh, dude, we had a really funny one with um this isn't as egregious, but it is also hilarious just as wrestling fans. Yeah. So, you know Dark Side of the Ring? Mm -hmm. Um we've been watching Dark Side of the Ring and uh here wait. I don't want to say the wrestler's name yet um what season are they on season five um i just want to show you the cover photo and um sorry so it's right. in one second okay here we go right. so uh we're watching dark side of the ring and when you have it on um like before you clicked on it it just shows you the cover of dark side of the ring and then 
Wait, I'm sorry. Let me get a better graphic of this. Here we go. Here we go. So when you when you have Dark Side of the Ring pulled up, and um, this guy this guy is up, and she's like, she sees this guy, and she uh-huh. goes, she goes. She goes, oh, who? Oh, they're gonna have an episode on it. That's she goes, that's Sabu, right? And I go, what? <laughs> she goes, that's Sabu, and I go, I go, oh yeah, that obviously Arab man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, dude, you don't need to know wrestling to know that guy's name's not Sabu. <laughs> oh, dude, I, can I can I be completely honest with you? What? I, I don't think I ever saw a full ECW like event in my entire life. I was always a cur- uh, cursory fan. Like I was aware of it. And yeah. it was one of those things that I always thought was way cooler when I was a huge wrestling fan. But basically, I was a, a mainstream nerd. I was WWE, w- WCW. That's pretty much it. I know who that is. Yeah. I know exactly who that is. Like when you pulled it up, I, I almost said it, but I knew there was you were going somewhere with it. <laughs> and I almost, and I think I even almost said the wrong thing initially, but I was like, that's not him. That's this guy. I thought it was, I almost said Tommy Dreamer, but it was just a name I got wrong. I didn't think. But you at Tommy. least you at least thought of a white guy's name. I, yeah, and I didn't think I didn't think it was actually. I knew who that was. I just forgot his name. It's yeah, Sam. that one's not. That one's not. A, as I'm saying Sandman it out loud, it's not. And Sabu, Sandman, Sabu. They're both Sandman. <laughs> it was just yeah. It, we were drink. <laughs> it's not. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, "Whoa, that's too far for me." <laughs> Did you just say they're both Sandman? Yeah. Sorry, I, that's ah, not, ah, <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> so fucking funny, dude. Oh fuck, that's funny. <laughs> no, that one's not. not wrong. That one's not as egregious. It was just really funny when we were drinking, and I go because it's like when you know wrestling, and you're like, you're like the white guy with the kendo stick. <laughs> yeah. If and did he? I don't know if he did in that um in that picture. Did he have a cigarette in his mouth? He might have. Like, um, that was the thing. He was he would drink beer. He would smoke cigarettes. Yeah, he, he would rip cigs and like all this shit. And I was just thinking, like, damn, that guy's crazy. <laughs> like, I remember yeah. thinking there was a couple people that I was really excited about from ECW. Taz, uh, Taz rules. Rhino was really cool. I thought Rhino was awesome. Or Rhino was that his name? Yeah, Rhino. Is there two Rhinos? <sighs> There's a lot of want Rhinos in okay. Africa and shit. Um, <laughs> this guy over here. Yeah. Can you uh, can you vamp while I go pee pee? Yeah, uh, we'll talk about more wrestling. I was uh, <clears throat> I was just uh, just thinking about with ECW the fact that I never saw a like a live <clears throat> a live promotion of those. I thought it was really cool, and I still got really excited when I saw them coming over to like the mainstream things like WWF at the time, WCW and stuff like that, because I was always familiar with them by seeing like clips of it i don't even know where i actually saw that shit tell you the truth because i never i never got to the point where rob van dam was the other one that's the other one i was thinking of rob van dam and al snow were both people that i was like these guys are fucking superstars and it's crazy that they wouldn't be so i guess that was always my thing was like i'd see those guys and i would always hope because i was such a stupid i was such a bad wrestling fan i didn't i think i was just so stuck to the mainstream shit i never i could have searched out ecw and and other things other organizations but i never really did because i was just it was so easy to have wwf or anything like that al Al snow is doing ovw what's ovw al snow was because i always liked the the weird characters so gold dust as far as mainstream was like a big uh favorite of mine uh, a lot of times I just like the weirdos. So like Rob Van Dam seemed like a funny weirdo guy that wasn't like, but also super athletic. I like those guys and was a huge fan of uh, John Claude Van Dam and thought honestly that they were related for a long time. Yeah. So I never really, I still got excited when those guys came. Uh, uh, Rob Van Dam and Al Snow yeah. were all the people that I was super excited about, but I feel like you I hear, never, do you ever hear what, um, um, uh gay rob van dam did what did he do he took the whole damn load anyway guys um this has been a great episode <laughs> what, if, what if you did just come back from peeing just to end the episode <laughs> <laughs> rob van dam rules because he's like i heard him in an interview and he's like oh, i got like 
He's like, yeah, I got like a thousand concussions. Didn't do anything to me. And I'm like, yeah. probably, probably did, Rob. Ohio Valley Wrestling. Al Snow is in Ohio Valley Wrestling now? That's yeah, cool. OV. Oh, he owns Ohio Valley. There's a whole, uh, I think it's on Netflix. There's like a oh, whole he's document. Doing, he, he mean, like he's doing it as in like he's, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it was really cool because like I I don't know how I don't, I can't even necessarily remember how I saw these clips of these guys and stuff like that because I was just uh, saying while you're gone that like I feel like I wasn't a good wrestling fan at the time of my fandom I was very much a um, a mainstream puss bitch you know what I mean like I could have searched ECW or rented the videos or eh. done all but I just I was like one of those things of like. I can't just come over here i'm like just come here i want to see those guys here come over here and then they eventually did and i did enjoy it i loved uh taz at the time i remember i made my own taz character in uh one of the wwf games early on before he was uh, a, it, it. I, don't like don't like beat yourself up over it because a lot of like ecw fans and shit like that all Still the real. non all the like non wwe fans they love they're like part of their existence is to dislike WWE. It's not so much to like, like they like the other company, but part of their personality is to actively dislike WWE. So a lot of times they end up, um, they end up viewing every non WWE thing with like rose colored glasses yeah. and ECW rules. And there's a lot of stuff about AEW rules, but there's also like a lot of sh like you know, where do these you look at ECW and it's like the production was shit. The fucking it was super dangerous to work there. Paul Heyman never fucking paid anyone. Like, like it, was, it was even for extreme championship wrestling was still a little over the top. You know what I mean? Like they would like they curse a lot. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, you don't have. You don't. Oh, see, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I like a sprinkled in swear every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that. Like Steve Fair Austin enough. was perfect for that. Like he hell yeah was not. That's not a swear. But when, every once in a while he drop a shit. Or uh, that ain't that some you know like I don't know. That is, yeah. I don't you want to see uh you want to see something cool, Pat? Please. Um, check this. I think you'll like this. <laughs> Sorry, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine, buddy. Uh, so Nike is sponsoring the band Speed. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. Look at this shit. Here, wait. Let me turn it down real quick. Yeah, and here I'll turn the music Ooh, off. Oh, indie shirts in there! Look at that. What did you say? You just stopped it right. That kid was wearing an indie shirt. That's what pretty cool too. Yeah, they're and it's in a fucking Nike ad. That's pretty cool too. <laughs> Are these specifically for uh, beautiful men to pit? Because these seem like models. These don't seem That's like a good shirt. Models. Yeah, if these are pit centric shoes, That's I got to be honest, dude. As a man getting up there in age who still wants to pit, I, I think I might. I think I might get these shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honestly, yeah. I I, I was going to say that because like I was thinking at the last like I went to a, a couple like a handful of shows back to back weeks. You know what I mean? And I'm not. I my body's not conditioned for standing still for that long or even dancing around. So like I need a little bit of support because the Chuck Taylors ain't cutting it no more. Dude, I, these shoes. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm not listening no. to you. My fault. I was just these shoes might be the pit. <laughs> yeah, you think so? They look like they're they're for uh, support and for maybe a little bit of stability. Are they non-slip? <laughs> I don't know. Dude. I might get these shoes. Kind of go hard. I might get these shoes. <laughs> Increased arch support and traction. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude um no and that that i apologize for cutting you off but that that rules i'm actually pretty yeah. pumped for this and i think it's very cool because i think we've talked about it before like there we definitely we definitely heavily discourage the like if you're the type of hardcore or punk rock or just music fan in general where you're like wait is that band making money like we definitely please go away like i i cannot i absolutely cannot stand those people or you don't have to go away just just stop being a fucking dickhead because it's like it's not inherently better for all these bands to just make no money it's just sometimes when people get sponsors and stuff they get lame and they get yeah. shitty and shit like that but it's like 
Dude, I I want every as long as the bands don't let it make them suck ass, which that's just the way of life. It's gonna happen. I have no problem. I have no problem with these fucking bigger corporations sponsoring these bands. It's just it's on the bands to not be lame after they get sponsored. Yeah, if like, yeah, I think that's I think that's a uh, an important point too. But like, there has been Nike sponsored cool music things before, at least like in my in at least my personal lifetime there was a there was like a weird tour with like norma jean and a bunch of other people i told i talked about it with the when i was talking about that band fully down the fully yeah. down <laughs> yeah and uh that was whole that was all sponsored by like nike yeah so, like, they gave away nikes at the show they did all this other shit it's like it was pretty cool but it was also like i thought it was cool i was like that's kind of cool that like they're at this show in like saint petersburg with like yeah. norma jean headlining that's pretty that's cool that like that they're i don't know if they were technically sponsored or if just the tour was but it's not yeah, like i don't they know haven't like gone into like cool interesting bands because again you could go with knock loose they could have tried uh more like more i guess uh already like bands with already quite a bit of heat but like going to speed is pretty cool you know why speed's a smart pick why because asian. it's it's what because they're asian diversity yeah. actually i think they're more they're Australian, so I think they're more. I think they're more like. Um, I think they're like Samoan more. Oh, more so. yeah. The Rock's real hot right now. <laughs> yeah, he is, dude. And his, <laughs> and I gotta say, his shoes fucking suck. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, dude. A lot some, of his, a lot of his, some good shoes. <laughs> also, I've seen. There's a bunch of dudes at the gym who will wear like. Dude, it's always like it's always like the softest dude like you know you just poke his belly and it would never stop going in and he just he just has a he just has a fucking under armor shirt that just says like oh like never soften or fucking always work the hardest and you're like stop <laughs> i swear dude like it's there's a bunch and they're not bad guys but there's like all these dudes at the gym who've got a shit ton of money who get all the like fancy gear and it's all just like bullshit under armor and uh Whatever the bull thing is. But no, speed, uh, part of the reason I like them, uh, all of them jacked. They're all they're all they're all either jacked or like I know they're one guitarist. He's not like defined, but he's a thick boy. <laughs> and um, I think that pairs well with Nike, where they're like, Yeah, no, this whole band is in shape. We're gonna sponsor them. <laughs> and wouldn't that be then then why not Kublacon? You know what I mean? Like maybe Well, that's the other thing. Kublacon is on the way up. I, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up because I think we have to address an issue because they are Kublacon is knocked loose. Was in was in uh, running to to. I don't even know how to present this exactly. Let me just find it. <laughs> Let I me just. Tell. I'm sorry. I'm just so emotional about it. Um, okay. I just hey, don't I, want. Do you you know what knife? I mean? Sorry. What? Do you need your knife? You should. Should you grab your knife? You think? Where is my knife? Oh my god, that's what the problem is. You don't know where the knife is. Oh, uh, things get out of whack when I lose the knife. <laughs> um, where the fuck is it? Oh yeah, here I sent this to you. There we go. Um, but no, I uh <laughs> Well, I was worried about I think Coop Kublacon is hitting a point that knock loose hit like a year or two ago. So what we're starting to see, we're because st because here's the thing. I don't want to necessarily gatekeep a band, but also I'm a, I'm about to gatekeep a band. I kind of want to gatekeep a band. Let <laughs> I me mean, be clear. I want to gatekeep this band. <laughs> I just once you know a band is starting to get popular when dorks start moshing to them at their weddings. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot about this. This really bums me out, man. Yeah, this made me really sad because I was like, I always thought um, Kublai Khan could avoid this. I didn't think they were going to be, I didn't think the dorks were going to get to him. Andy, I. I, I, yeah, and I, I'm really starting to rethink all of our open-mindedness we've ever Andy, had. Andy, I, uh, Andy, 
I I just noticed a detail that I didn't that bugs me even more because <laughs> I forgot about this. I didn't even notice. I I, I oh, Andy, they did the traditional one first. They did the thing to make their parents happy. This is what I was talking. I was talking. To, we were texted back and forth about, and I was just like, I yes, I had. I was I was married very young, and and I at the time was listening. And to you're a- about to end that marriage. <laughs> Wait, if she gets me. Oh, I got you some Bacardi uh, ginger ale. <laughs> she does that shit again. No. You don't want this RC cola? Like she actually did. She I got I was- you diet squirt. <laughs> got you some dr lightning uh there is <coughs> there was a that's a real fucking <laughs> but that's store brand store brands okay right store brands all right so i i gotta tell you <laughs> oh pit police you're right tonya thank you very much for this is i know this is not pit police this is a we're just giving these motherfuckers nah, this, is the, this is the pit firing squad <laughs> yeah so uh, i was i was in charge my wife was basically in charge of uh, the cake, the food, the guest list, the you seating. You weren't in charge of food? No, surprisingly not. No, actually, well, we went to a venue that did like a lot of that stuff together and we tasted the food and we're like, this is fucking good. <laughs> we're like, can we just do everything here? And like, it was pretty easy, but I was put in charge of the playlist. <clears throat> I even had, I had a couple uh, cues set up, a couple bits, right? In, in, in the ceremony. And I had very detailed Right. Because I painstakingly tried to find music that we liked, me and Dom, like both of us liked music that she liked, music that I liked and music that would be danceable because mm-hmm. I was like, it doesn't have to be a whole dance party the entire time. This is yeah. our party. And I and I at first had a ton of just our my our music. And she yeah. was like, well, you know, there's going to be older people there. There's going to be other people. So. It was that same kind of compromise, but I was like, how about this mix? And I worked on it for a long time, right? <clears throat> and even wanted to dance to a non-traditional song, but ended up going with Starlight by Muse. Very tasteful, mm. easy to dance to, mm. and also a beautiful song. Really a nice mm. song, right? So when it comes down to like traditional or non-traditional, you have to pick a side i've seen this so many times in the jujitsu world where a bride and groom where will have their first role oh dude really and guess what my, you know what my biggest fucking my biggest fucking note is you're not going for it <laughs> 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 Shut so, the fuck up, dude. <laughs> so it's the same fucking so deal. Funny. <laughs> so don't bring it up unless you're gonna try to smoke your fucking wife out in well, front of your grandparents. Then don't fucking even do it. So it's the same thing with this, where it's like the we're gonna have the first mosh as a couple. <laughs> do it at the show. Don't so, bring it here because you because she they did the traditional thing. They did the thing that go like, oh, Jeffrey, why can't you just dance? Why do you have to do that crazy monkey dancing that you do? <laughs> and then he's like, oh, she's got a great idea. And she's like, yeah, OK, because Dom would have agreed to it. If I would have pushed and I said, let's have a first circle pit and let's do it to Pennywise or let's do it to a, a really nice fucking what fallout boy song, whatever the fuck it is. It's it gets to a point where like you have to be an adult. You can well, be a kid getting married. I, but you got to go all kid. You can't go like, well, we're going to do this thing traditional and then here. we're going to have fun. Well, here, can I say this? Because you yeah. remind me of the point I wanted to make where the reason, because here's the thing. I don't like to just be a hater. I like to break down. So just in case this this married couple is watching, I like yeah. to break down in detail why yes, I'm not. Be- no, I want it to end. <laughs> I hope, but I hope it lasts a while and I hope it starts to go bad early. I hope you and continue you, to regret. You look at your fucking wedding video. Yeah. And you're like, Ugh. I hope it goes bad. I hope it goes bad early and you just, you neither of you have the balls to break it off. And it goes on for a while. Right. No, right. but okay, if, brought, if, brought up a great point, by the way, Sorry. if they if they watch this, I want them to thoroughly understand I'm not trying to be a hater. I want right. you to know specifically why this sucks. Me too. Guys. And it sucks ass because so the implication of doing it is them going, 
you know, we got all these we got all these stuffy parents up in here, but we're being kind of badass outlaw. Yeah. We're being badass yeah. outlaw kids, and we're gonna do it anyway, and we're gonna prove them wrong that this right. is actually pretty cool, and we're having a fun time. And I'm yep. here to let you know, your parents are right. You're being annoying. This isn't badass or outlaw shit, or you're just because they don't. This doesn't make them afraid of you. Yeah. This just makes them annoyed. You're not even doing anything. It's this just very, this is very, it's just corny. This is very edgy Nickelodeon. You know what I mean? This is like, are you afraid of the dark kind of thing where you're like, yeah, this is, scary this, is, this, is, this is buying a this is buying a rainbow chain wallet at Hot Topic. If you can have a fucking ring bearer or a flower girl in your mosh pit, I, I got to tell you, I think you're a little bit too corny because nobody again nobody went for it nobody went for it nobody's no, running see, into each other nobody's actually you're all just it's all a performance it's performative i don't even think i think going for it makes you worse but i but, think going for it makes you a bigger dickhead but but what tonya is saying here if i think going for it is have the band actually playing there and have a fucking actual little mini show if that's the thing, if that that would be a real actual fuck you to them because you're like fuck you, it's my party, I'm playing the music I want to play, and these guys agreed to play our wedding. So, I, I uh, one of the best live records, to my uh, <laughs> to my in my personal opinion, let me say is uh, me first in the Gimme Gimme's play Johnny's bar mitzvah, and they actually they I I don't think it's actually a bar mitzvah, but the audience in the crowd is is an actual bar mitzvah, like they have like older people there they have young kids there and there's actual live like video of it as well where they're just that's where they recorded the live album was yeah. at a basically a setup kids bar mitzvah yeah where, that's fun where it's one of those things where it's it's all or nothing baby you can't go like well no actually let's bring in some fans like no 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 <laughs> like these kids may enjoy your your song but they don't know who you are Unless your uncle Mike and and his band, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it might be somebody's yeah. member or no, something. I I I I I just think it's just but I don't you know, know, dude. And I'm like I'm like the biggest fan of this shit. And I just think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just think like doing stuff like this just makes you look like a fucking asshole. And on top of that, if you watch the video again, let me show you this one more time because this is another layer of it. Why it's like because here's my thing. This is the thing. It's not that I necessarily want to like um, gatekeep these bands per se. I just think sometimes with the way like social media is and stuff like that, um, it gets the bands flow into um, the bands like flow into a much more mainstream uh, identity and or sorry, they flow into a much more mainstream section very quickly and then through. Cause this is what happened with so this is what happened with uh, Kubicon. It had the same thing happened with um, Knocked Loose. So TikTok got a hold of Counting yeah. Worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TikTok got a hold of Counting Worms. For some reason, they it actually started with they put this like sample of SpongeBob right before the breakdown and Counting Worms, and then it hit. And that just was like a thing. They call it like SpongeBob course, and then that sort of built over time, and then it became a meme to like do stuff to Counting Worms. So the problem with TikTok is it grabs a hold of this thing and people like it, but what happens is it it because it gets cycled through. It gets cycled through the TikTok process so quickly, it quickly turns into a way uninteresting people can now have a personality because it's associated with like yeah. a dance or something like that. And that's what happened with Kublicon. There was, and I will give, I forget the kid's name. It's like something Nate on TikTok. He would do a thing where he would hardcore dance in the bathroom at work and it was like kind of corny, but he would occasionally have like a funny thing here and there. But um, it was, so he did a thing where, he did a thing where he would like hardcore dance to theory of mine and he would do this thing where he would do this like starfish jump and then he would do it like two arms up on beat and then kind of mosh and then that turns into a TikTok dance and then when he was kind of doing it ironically like i'm fucking moshing in the bathroom at work i'm doing it ironically it now turned into oh hey uninteresting people here's your preset for a personality and that's why i see these people and i go yeah, yeah. you're just doing this for attention and to have a personality and it's cringe and i just i don't i just i want everything 
in my ability. I want to use every possible skill I have to get it across that these people suck ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I got to say, <laughs> that's, so, that's so funny that you're like, I, I want to start just in case you're watching. I'm not trying to hate, but these people suck ass. <laughs> well, no, that's yes. That's the but I'm not hating. I'm not. I'm. I'm trying right. to explain how I, uh, no, I'm trying I, to explain how they factually suck ass and should feel bad that they did this. It's because, not me hating. It's yeah, a factual statement. You're on the wrong side of history. Like, it's, <laughs> like you're like, the Nazis. I feel like Tonya is bringing up a great point, and the same thing that you're saying is it just makes it feel like a meme. Yeah. Like this is not. This is not a genuine. Like, oh, we're fans of Kubalcon. Now they're big. Ooh, you know what I mean? Like they a, don't play any of the they don't play any of the deep cuts. You're playing the song that's on TikTok. So that's a oh, perfect. Do you sorry. like this song, or that's, do you like this band? Well, oh, oh, that's the thing I'll bring back up because if you watch in the clip, so you remember I described the dance. So they do yeah. they do a starfish thing. Yeah. So he does a starfish thing. Don't and make then me do too much. I'll set up my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so he does. Here, wait. Let me show you my full camera because he he'll do this. He'll do this starfish thing, and then he does this thing with his okay. arms where he yeah. where he does this thing with his arms where he goes like straight up in the air with each of them. So that was like Jesus Christ! I'm breaking my fucking and he's chair. He's like crouching forward, like. So if you're yeah. what watch when it turns into Kublai Khan. Boom. Starfish. And then he does he, his girl starts to do like the arm thing. Oh, dear. Also, too, it's like it's obnoxious because it's like you can not to be this guy. This makes me come off a little bit like a dork, but you can see you can see immediately in like what they're doing. You're like, you guys don't do this. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. It doesn't seem it's not natural. Like this is a this is a thing where this is like Tonya said, it's like it's meme. It's like meme feel. You know what I mean? Like this is like a we're going to do. Like one of those ones that go like, and they dance. And yeah, they, and they look around. Right. It's like it's like where you do choreograph. It it looks choreographed. Let me just say that because again, you're not running into each other. You don't want to rip. Uh, you know what? Another good way to do this too, if you were fans, it'd be like, oh my god, Kubalcon's playing tonight. That's why I wanted to play the song for her. But I actually just surprised her with Kubalcon tickets. So. The wedding's over. Now let's go see Kubokan in yeah. our, our fucking wedding shit. That's that's cute. That's but like, cute yeah, story. it's it's you when know? you like Tonya said, when you do it for the meme, it's yeah. not some like like um what the fuck was it? Like when Steph and her stepdad did the first dance at my wedding, they did like a surprise thing <laughs> where they started playing like a Guns N' Roses song. Yeah. But it was a very specific Guns N' Roses song they both liked when right. she was a little kid. Right. And a perfect example, my, I love her to death, but at my sister-in-law's first wedding, her and her husband at the time, they were, they were doing the thing where they're like, we're also going to play a little bit of metal, but like no one recorded it. They were just, they were just douches on their own. <laughs> like, it, it's like a thing. There's a cool thing at like most parties or something like that, where like at a, at a certain point, um, you know, like people start taking the iPod and they start, you know, picking up their own shit or whatever. They start putting on their own music or taking over the playlist. Like that, that shit, then that kind of becomes fun because then you're playing shit that maybe I don't normally listen to and I yeah. like it. It's fun and we're all drinking and having a great time. But this is so cor corny and so forced and obnoxious and obnoxious. Like it's just very, it's very forced. And it does seem like I think everybody's pounding off on comments the same way as everybody has the same feel of like this is feels like you're doing it so you can go viral or you can or get memed or something. Yeah. And, and like, I know. <clears throat> I know earlier, I think it was on, I think we were talking about it on No More Heroes, not here, but like, it's that, like, I get it. Um, it's that I will, I will respect the fact, I said it earlier, like, you, people don't have to give a shit about the thing you like. So, like, that's where I'm at. Like, they don't have to respect Kubla Khan or whatever the fuck, but there is a part of it where you're just like, you're just like, dude, you're like, devaluing i don't know i'm not trying to sound like a fucking uh fu like a dramatic fucking mo or whatever but it's like doing this devalues such a good band can i in my opinion can i be honest with you though like i, I want i want to ask you a serious question like if you were in this band and try to answer honestly because i'm trying to think of like how how would kublacon take this would they go like well that's pretty cool or like would you go like oh we should reach out to them like if you personally like that's why I want to take it out of there because I don't want to be speculative. I just want to go from our personal like if I was an entertainer, I was in a band 
and and they played one of our songs at their wedding and that was the fun first little dance or something like that would you go the funny route and just be like these guys are fucking lame <laughs> you know what i mean like and share it <clears throat> and then like people going like hey this one. like look if you don't like this joke that we make or you think that these guys are cool and that they should uh, be praised then you're not real fans of ours like this would be a good opportunity to no. show some corny ass motherfucking fans well no i would say as, from kubla khan's <laughs> standpoint i would say it's actually probably not smart to if they thought this was corny like i'm glad i'll say this like it is kind of annoying their record label reposted it but uh really it's a, that's where i watched the video their record label dude and if you want to that's for here wait let me finish my thought then we can get right, deeper because yeah. some of the fucking comments are that if you really want to get mad the comments are fucking cringe inducing i was getting mad at the comments but um yeah no i don't know i just i i, I part of me doesn't want to just read comments of mentally ill people but they are fucking <laughs> insanely cringe inducing by the way andy that's that's the secret they're all for mentally ill people <laughs> but no it's like so the record label posted it which is lame enough but at the same time you're like i get it i get it you guys need to promote this corny shit so normal people buy your records i get it but it's the fact that um kubla khan didn't repost it which made me i don't even think i don't even see a comment of theirs from and they comment on stuff like have you ever heard of this dude um he's this guy who reacts to music videos uh hard his name's hardcore keem he fucking rules because he's like he's he's almost half mocking the over the top people because like if he he'll have dude i love his shit so much it's so stupid but he'll have like a he'll have like um not that you know the things for boxing where it's literally just like a dude's head it'll yeah. be like the mannequin for boxing yeah. if the breakdown's extra dirty he literally like throws his headphones down jumps up and like will hit the boxing mannequin with a fucking haymaker like like he's jbl hitting him with a clothesline from hell yeah. and shit. it's just it's intentionally over the top and he even posted a video of him he even posted a video of him like going into low tech the new kubacon song and kubacon yeah. like commented like what's up my dude and but kubacon didn't comment on this and that may and but they also it would be dumb for them to like post about it because at the same time it's almost like in stand-up when someone's heckling and you go too mean at them that also you're not wrong yeah. but it looks it looks bad on you i actually think it would look bad on kubacon to like be like look at these fucking dickheads if that's what they think right. i think they played it right you just you let it happen you don't acknowledge it i would say if i'm in kubacon this would make me cringe but at the same time you're like yeah, it's pretty cool. I think we're going to be doing good this next year, boys. We're yeah. getting into fucking uh, cringy douchebags love us. Yeah. And that means yeah. we're going to make a lot of money this year. <laughs> yeah, because no matter what, at the shows, that, that'll shake loose those fans that aren't like, you know what I mean? Like the people that are like, oh, yeah. this one's actually like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that dude buys a ticket, stands in the back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But buys a shirt, buys, uh, buys a hoodie, buys a hat. Buys exactly. A, for his chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, and honestly, that's what we want. So, yes. But I just I guess that was the thing was like, I, I, I would it would be hard for me not to be at least a little bit flattered as somebody in the, in a band that was like, oh, we chose your song to be corny as fuck in front of our grandparents. You know what well, I mean? Just, yeah, it just means would be like, oh, that's pretty cool. But also, like, I'm not sharing it. And I really I you ain't got nothing nice to say. Don't say nothing at all. But also uh, or just thanks, guys. To what you were saying earlier, buys a knife. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Tony. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and I think, I think, I think also too, what's going on is we're all we're all doing our roles in the ecosystem. We do this pod, we do this pod. So when people like this do stuff, we keep them honest and we let everyone know. If you do this, we're coming for you. Yeah, that's the free market, baby. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you put it out there, but also like that's what I'm saying, man. That it, 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 you put it out there like it, you can have you're you're still trying to make Nana happy and like, oh, Joshua, don't do that. Can't you just have a nice dance with her? You know what I mean? And then and then it's like, bro, I can't tell you what to do. And it's, you know what I mean? Like, that's what this seems like. It seems like this kind of like, oh, yeah, mom, at, at like however old you are. So these are people that are are scared of their parents still. <laughs> and that's why they did their sweet little dance first and yeah. then they did the Kubelcon thing afterwards. So yeah. just wh what we're saying is, hey, you yuppie fucks, go ahead, go to the show and buy the merch. 
But don't, I will, don't get in my way. No. Uh, Pat, can I be honest? I put the knife down before I said that. Sorry. Can I be honest? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just rubbing my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see. Uh, don't. No, no, no. You said don't get in the way. Can I be honest? Get in my fucking way. <laughs> Andy, that's because you're a menace. We all know this. Yeah, I'm dude. Top do back. not. Do not catch me eight beers in. <laughs> oh or catch me eight beers in. How about that? <laughs> How about that? All right. I got. I know we're going a little long, but I got one thing I have to show you. Please. I don't even know what this is categorized under, except amazing. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> it's so good, dude. It's oh, so it's good. It's from China. That's cool. What? It's from China. Oh, it's from China? All right, here. Ah, oh, it's so loud. It's okay. Um, yeah, okay. So this dude's hyping up. He's ready to run. Let's watch. Damn. He was. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you want to see it again? It's so yeah. funny, dude. Two, one, two, three, let's go. Oh! Oh, get the back up. Oh, I got it, dude. <laughs> It's so funny. It's just a fat white dude just chilling, and he just gets oh. a black teenager to the dome. <laughs> That's so, so funny, dude. You know, for anybody just listening, uh, there was a, uh, a, a black gentleman uh, rapping, I'm assuming, on stage and uh, getting ready <laughs> to to jump a what looked like 40-foot chasm <laughs> between the stage and the crowd where there was a, a rock-solid metal gate, and he just slammed it to the back of, like, this looks like a cool wrestling move. That's what it looks like. Like, oh, no, that wasn't, no. How long, how far was that? Is he even on a stage? Yeah, the stage isn't even oh, that uh, high. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look that high. It looks like the barricade <laughs> is higher than the stage. Any butt bumps or back bumps this dude flat. Oh! Oh. No, he got an Yo. elbow in the back of the neck, dude. That's bad. Well, he got wait, 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 wait. It looks like he got elbow dropped into the back of the neck. So right he here. goes and <laughs> this on an elbow. Wait, wait, wait. Right here is where the the bouncer became racist. Uh, <laughs> God damn. That dude, sucks. Did he, I, I, I mean, I don't want to put bad intentions on this young man, but like, this seems intentional. <laughs> there's, yeah, no, like, he, there's no way this would have gone well. I gotta say, my first, my first thought, Andy, was the fact that, like, oh shit, he missed the barricade. But I was like, <laughs> wait, was he even aiming for the barricade? Oh my god. And then just right into oh. the, like the top bar too. Or maybe Dude, I don't it's actually did he get tits? Is he in tits right now? Cuz then Wait, is who in tits? The security guard. Is he face first in tits right now? <laughs> Dude, he might have got a face full that I that hope was... so because that's honestly he's so close to knocking his fucking teeth out. Man. Yeah, because he gets up, he doesn't like look like he's like, oh, he like looks like oh, that was weird, huh? But he was just like, oh, anyway, well, oh, what are you doing after the show? <laughs> no, dude, he hit his head. Yeah, no tits. And no tits, also, by the way. Sorry, man. <laughs> and he's just like, Oh, you okay, cool? Oh, cool. All right. Let me just get this one more time. Hey <laughs> <laughs> and that guy's laughing so hard at him. I th it looks like he's looking for that security guard. <laughs> Dude, this kid rules so much. I mean, I be careful. Don't knock, don't knock poor bouncer's teeth out for the love of God, guys. Please, do your do your rowdy do your rowdy shit, but don't knock the poor man's teeth out. <laughs> you know where this guy would be very useful? It was at the at the show at any show. The past couple of shows that we've been at, where like nobody wanted to mosh, nobody it was everybody was a little scared to mosh. This guy would definitely get some some asses and moving right here. Damn, it almost looked like he stepped off him too. Like he like lands on him and like 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 kind of pushes off of him, like springboards yeah. off his back leg. Look, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> just didn't go all the way down either. That wouldn't technically count as a knockdown in a UFC, so that was actually not bad. Wait, and does he hit no one? Yeah, he dives right through. Like that guy, like specifically, is like, <laughs> "Nice try, motherfucker." <laughs> and then, like, hey, anyway, where's my phone? Oh, 
That's Man. so funny. I mean, I ho- hopefully the dude didn't get his teeth knocked out, and if that and uh, but it everything just, else. His expression afterward, he like kind of had this like, <laughs> whoa, that was nuts, right? Like, yeah. Like, was, like I'm, if you get teeth knocked out or chipped, you're gonna be like, oh fuck, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> but he's also he's working. He's a professional. I just I love the, uh, I love the chaotic nature of that video. Yeah. Who I, is that? I, was that uh, ski mask the dick fuck? <laughs> yeah that was a uh, little ski mask the titty fuck god titty fucking god man man um cool. who was that <laughs> i wonder who that artist was but yeah that was from our uh that was from our favorite commie hate five six. Oh, nice uh I, I i still feel like that was um that was i don't know if it was premeditated i think he truly thought he was he was going to reach the crowd somehow yeah i think i think it was a super yeah i think it was like a super impulsive moment yeah and and you could tell he was trying to get people hyped because there wasn't a ton of people there at the time (laughs) but he decided to uh firebomb them with his body for the troubles (laughs) i I mean i I respect it dude like i told you when i was when i was going to see defeater in brooklyn that one like shoegaze band that just stood there and gazed at their fucking shoes i I don't know man that shit annoys the fuck out of me so to have this energy (laughs) it's so funny there there, there's definitely a line and i think he found it but i'm not i'm not i'm not complaining you know what i mean keep keep uh keep dancing on that line just make sure you got big guys to catch you but like wouldn't that be a thing action bronson would do with like toss people in the crowd yeah well he his was legit because people would constantly try to get on stage and he's just like, you're not getting on my, his was actually out of like pure anger. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he would like pop up power bomb people into the crowd. Yeah. That was, uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Hmm? You want to look at Selena Gomez's tits real quick? Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, just this a white just popped beard. up. Oh man, oh man, like yeah, that's dude. if that's a dude, give me some liver. Oh my god, Maybe. yeah, dude, fucking destroy her liver. That's what shit. she's gonna look like. God damn. Yeah, who the Fantastic. fuck's matter? But yeah, who wouldn't like her? And that's what I'm saying. It's like, oh, like, I, look, man, if you're like, oh, young Selena Gomez is so beautiful. Like, not only are you a creep, but you're factually incorrect, my friend. Yeah, like, you're. You gotta. T- I gotta tell you, like, current day. Probably in her 30s, Selena Gomez. Early 30s? Maybe late 20s? Mm. Is she like our, like close to our age? Maybe closer to yours, right? I think she's a little younger than me. Maybe she's like 14. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she, she's 31. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me a 30-year-old Selena Gomez over a 14-year-old any day. <laughs> yeah, I have a bold statement. I know, I know. I know we're going to end it on a hot take, but uh <laughs> you've heard it here. You've heard it here first. Pat will not have sex with children. Good oh, luck. You. Good luck keeping your fans, buddy. Nice try, pal, but I find uh women in their 30s to be quite attractive. Yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Between you and me, buddy, I have sex with of age women. <laughs> don't mean yeah. to burst your bubble hey oh look at here lady i sure i can buy you some alcohol but you better you be also can alcohol. buy yourself some alcohol <laughs> 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 all right guys thanks for hanging out we love y'all we will be back uh jerry's, what? Final, jerry's final thought <laughs> that that thick latina's role yeah wait who <laughs> uh Jerry, oh, Jerry like Jerry Springer. Yeah. Final thought. Uh, Final thought. Selena Gomez with big fat tits is wonderful. A thirty-year-old with big fat tits, it makes me come. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs>